hatching. And when it hatches, the bird flies out. It goes flying out in the skies of freedom. And it leaves behind the shell. It has no purpose because the bird has escaped into the freedom. In these bodies, we are in a capsule and we are yearning like we were in our mother's wombs. A time came when we came out. I think mothers understand that very well. When the baby was kicking, we could you could feel the baby inside. But a time came when the baby came out and it was joy. So I also imagine that in this life, it's like we are in the womb. When the time comes and the baby comes out, you can imagine what is happening in the maternity world that is heaven. A new baby has come. There is humiliation. There is jubilation. And I want to think the same thing happening with our brother. He's been in this womb known as the world. He has been born out into the kingdom of God, into the eternity. And out there I always imagine how happy one is in the new dispensation. And I always imagine out there one graduates in understanding. One gets into a new realm. And he looks down and gets amazed about the ignorance of this life. Because he is in a higher level. And you look down and say, look at me when I was in that womb. I didn't understand. Little did I know the precious life that was awaiting. Take heart, therefore, that our brother, who is also your father, who is also your uncle, who is also your doctor, who is also our clansman, has graduated. He's been reborn into the other world. Take heart. Let us rejoice. Because this is the day that the Lord made. This is the day for him. And he is looking at us from the other world and saying the same words. Take heart. That's a song I like singing. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the hour, this is the hour that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the hour that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the hour. This is the hour that the Lord has. So to put you to speed, uh, we are just waiting for the gentleman, I think Dr. Gachono, with the barrio permit, so that uh, the body can be released. Everything is in order. Our brother is perfectly resting. And as soon as the individual arrives with the burial permit will begin the process of release upon which we shall just proceed to the destination where we are going to enter our beloved uh, uh, brother 
for now I would urge you to just uh, rest wait peacefully as we wait for that to happen uh, from here I think those that may wish to view the body will have an opportunity to do so those who may not feel strong to do so you are encouraged not to do so just to join us uh, as we proceed to the uh, residence in Kiamba. Now, we are lucky that today, uh, or this week, is not particularly very busy, traffic-wise, and so we shall be able to move with a lot of ease from here, uh, because we may not have another opportunity to explain. May I take this opportunity to explain the route we are going to take so, after uh, our brother has been released to us and he is uh, put in the house, there will be the procession will be as follows. There will be the lead car in front, and I think that will be my car. I'll be the one to lead the convoy, the cottage, and we'll move towards this direction will follow the valley road all the way down but before i get to there the the house carrying our brother will be behind me the rest of us can be behind there uh, particularly the immediate members of the family will be behind the house then we move down valley road and uh, before we get to Serena, we shall branch off to the left, yeah, and all the way to St. Paul's Chapel, down there, near the University Halls of Residence. Then we turn up north in direction, like we're going to Westlands. We get to the big roundabout, the new one, then we turn as if we are going, not as if, we go uh, the direction of the Aga Khan hospital up there I think because the traffic is generous the, ro the, the roads are generous uh, let's take the Aga Khan route and then uh, past Aga Khan hospital we proceed all the way to mini, mini market you know that roundabout and then we don't we don't go down to Gatwood Hospital direction, but rather we move uh, along Limuru Road, past Yonep area, past Village Market, all the way to Ruaka. When we get to Ruaka, we shall branch to the right through the other pass, Northern Bypass, other pass. Is it Northern Bypass? or Eastern Bypass, Northern. whatever you call it, Northern. Northern Bypass. We proceed towards Muchada. When we get to Muchada, we shall proceed further up on the way to Banana. It is perhaps prudent for us to, to park up there, you know, from Muchada, after the hill we get, before we get to Banana, there is a, a, a section of the road that is it's long, it's flat. This is just after the, uh, the church, the Mbegwa church. Uh, this is before we approach Banana. I think the lead car will park by the roadside and the rest of us, because we are not many, can now all meet there. Because it is likely that uh, we might not be able to move smoothly together between here and that point so we'll park there and then very peacefully and we will not take much time there we shall now proceed to those residents so that's the way it is once we get there we intend to start our ceremony at at nine at at ten uh, ten maybe ten thirty and our service is not intended to take more than an hour 
I want to make that absolutely clear. This is in accordance with the protocols that have been issued by the Minister of Health. The ceremony cannot take more than one hour. The shorter the better. And therefore time will be of essence. We're going to do everything uh, very quickly, very orderly and very peacefully. Uh, uh, the presiding minister will be Father Joachim from Mombasa where our brother used to worship. And that being the case, there will be very little to do at home for us because we propose and we have agreed unanimously that this is strictly going to be a church service. The celebrant is Father Joachim. There will be a window, short window for tributes but everything will be done quickly and Father Joachim will be leading us in prayers and in the all the rites that go with the burial. So the other thing I would wish you to note is that because of the COVID, the CD19, we urge you to not to sit too close. I think here we have not observed that, but I thank God that uh, you are all face masked. But when we move around, let us, uh, for God's sake, uh, be alive to that requirement. Let us be compliant. Uh, let us sanitize as much as possible and let us wear our face masks properly. I've seen people wearing them and the nose is left hanging up there. That is not proper because the idea is to filter the air that is coming in. So brothers and sisters, let us observe that and uh, let us keep sanitizing. At home, we'll have the privilege, privilege of having St. John Ambulance team with us. They will assist us in taking temperatures. They will assist us in sanitizing. And we shall believe, I believe we shall be safe. Now, uh, I'll be consulting to find out whether, or who should find out whether our brother has come because that is the only bit that is remaining. The moment he brings the burial permit, we proceed. So I wish that uh, uh, somebody could confirm what is happening there. So the Lord is good all the time. Wow. And that is his. Now, we've come from far and wide. There are those who came from Mombasa. Lift up your hands. Those that Okay, traveled all the way from Wambao. God bless you so much. Uh, our brother has touched us, all of us, in uh, one way or the other. And uh, I believe we are all bound together by that spirit of love. We mean well for him. And this is testimony. That's why we've come. As I wait to be told what is happening, I want us to have a short moment of reflection. He touches you in a way that is unique to you. He has touched you in a manner that is special to you. Is he a brother to you? Is there an event in life that you cannot forget? Is he, was he working with you? Whatever you remember about him, his wonderful voice, his demeanor, humble, he doesn't shout. How has he touched you, his generosity? I want to give you a moment to reflect, then we shall move to the next stage. Let's bow our heads and reflect prayerfully about our brother. Please relax. The other, I, I, I think somebody is taking care. And we are many of us here. We are not the only ones. We are not the only ones. Yeah? We are not the only ones. 
Ja? Nu er det. Ja, det er det. Please come in. Uh, we are many. But let us, the Bible says, mourn as believers. Okay? Let us mourn as believers. Let us be strong. Anyway, back to the program. Just a moment of reflection. We are many around here, but this is it. We are us. Let us bow our heads and for a short brief moment reflect before I advise what is next. Heavenly Father, once again we thank you. Our brother touched us this way or that way. And we have four memories of him. Dear Lord, we pray that whatever he reminds us, the positive things he has left in our minds and hearts, that the same may be with us forever, and that we may build on that to remember him, to perpetuate, so that we can also be a blessing to others. We thank you, Lord, for this day, and we commit the daily day's program into your hands, that all may go as by your plan. Yes, Lord, you are the master of ceremonies. No one else can be except you. So come and organize this ceremony for us. Come and be in our midst, O oh God. Help us in our griefing. Help us in our pain. Help us in our sorrow to remember that you are in the house, that you are here. You are the first help, the line of help. We know, O oh Lord, you strengthen us, you guide us. You will take control of the day. We pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit that you take control, that you may reign supreme, that you may direct everything that is going to be said and done that you may be in charge from now on oh lord we thank you we invite you as we surrender we thank you that through this whole event you may glorify yourself what is it that lord you want to teach us today what is it that you have proposed for each one of us yes we avail ourselves we open our ears that you may talk to us in a special way as his children, as his friends, relatives, touching us one way or the other individually that you may speak to us. There is always a message from heaven that you want to speak to your people. Speak to us, Lord, for we are listening. Yes, there was a boy called Samuel who could hear a voice, but he confused of, from that of a man but when he was silent and listened keenly he heard your message many times we hear voices but we are unable to distinguish which voice is from you I am praying oh Lord that this day each one of us each individual present today and particularly in this tent will have an opportunity to listen to you as an individual and to recognize your voice in his life or her life that lord you will speak to us today that lord we shall be able to say at the end of the day that indeed we heard your voice and in a very personal way that lord we shall end the program to kisema to iskia sauti ya buwana kwa hivyo yote mungu abrupt i attend a leo to ya weka wakfu mikononi yako E mungu ajabu, we mungu mumba wetu, uwe nasi na utuongoze. Barabarani, hata tukifika kwenye ibada. Wanao safiri, wakitoka mahali popote pale, wakija hapa au kule. E mungu wa amani, wa kuomba uwe nasi. Hayo tuwaomba katika jina Yesu Kristo, buwana na mwokozi wetu. Amina. I now invite one of you. There is something to say.
about our brother not about yourself something positive let's have a fellowship as we may it's a wonderful thing let's have a fellowship here brothers and sisters something you'd like to say in remembrance in the fond memories of our brother very briefly and without getting carried away hallelujah amen don't get carried away we don't want to see tears we want to see joy because we say this is the day that the lord has made but you have something you want to say i'll give you an opportunity this is a fellowship please come wherever it is something you want to say sikufungi inje yo tu utuambie ka kitu kuhusu ndugu yetu na siku ya leo just something to build us something to lift our souls do you have something you want to say can i hear you you can't say you don't have something to say please something you want to say Oh, mpigie ni makofi dada yetu. Hii ni fellowship sasa. And I'm the bishop. Am I a bishop or reverend or pastor? Or a bishop? Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. God is good all the time. And all the time. My name is Geraldine from uh, St. Francis of Assisi Customs Nyali and we fellowship with the daktari. Uh, together with Elizabeth and baby Ian since Ian was a toddler we've been with them I learned a lot of humility from that Tari soft spoken very very humble and I realized this runs in the family because we also worked in Thika with uh, one of the brothers he was also very cool and collected and the last uh, four years have been a bit um, challenging to that Tari health of his family members his own health, a few things running here and there, but he remained level-headed and he remained very spiritual. And he used to sit at a particular place on the pew, the first pew, just before the priest. And you see, at his age, with his level of exposure and who he was in a society, you would expect when we are told to, Pankeni for Lenin Troy Pesa, maybe you would think twice remain seated, but that was not him. He would always get there, do what he's supposed to do, and he felt so connected not just to you as an individual but as a parishioner as his patients and he would assure you but one thing i also liked him for as a doctor and i would wish younger doctors could take this it's not about money doctor will tell you the truth as it is you take to him your mother who is very sick and he can't go any further he'll tell you Papa to me, we cannot take any further my daughter uh, but god is able and uh, we can do this he made you know and accept that there is a limitation in life. At the end of the day, God is able. He loved his family, the family that we had in Mombasa, and others elsewhere, and he was proud of them, and he prayed for each one of us. And I take this opportunity to thank everyone who is here today. He's a testimony to who he is. And of course, if you knew Dr. Harry very well, you look at the faces around, you can even guess this could be a brother, a sister, an auntie, the looks and the humility. Thank you so much and God bless. Oh, my God sent pastor has gone. Can I have another good? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. So I'm the chairperson of the ladies and Elizabeth handed over to a lady who handed over to me of the church. Thank you so much. Another God sent please. Uh, Sanitizer. Anybody with a sanitizer in the bag? Thank you. No, don't pick it. It's already done. Uh, I'll give you the car. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I greet you all. My name is Sarah Wairimu Hunter and I'm a sister to Dr. Duo. I'm the last born of the first lot, 10 children. I have a lot to talk about him, though it could not be at this time. I remember when I landed here on Friday, like three weeks ago, that Saturday, I called my brother, Dr. Duo, and I told him I'm here now. And he told me, I'll be coming home for Christmas and I, I think we are going to see each other. And then he asked me, are you still in the same house you lived? And I told him yes. So he said, if you don't meet in my home, I'll, be, I'll pass to your house and then we talk. The other thing I remember of my brother, Dr. Duo, whenever it's that odd time here, he is always texting me, sending me pictures and I will report back to him and he would always ask, he want to find out how I am and with my family. And when I turned 70, I called him and I texted, I texted him and I told him I'm turning 70 on this day. And then the next thing I saw, a message which I think he wanted to send to somebody else, but it came to me and it says, this is my sis Wairimo. We love her very much, and she's, she's turning 70. So, and I knew this was not meant for me. She might, he might have been wanting to say to somebody else, but it came to my WhatsApp. So, we, I'll miss a lot, and the humor, because me and Taranja, we, were, we, we follow each other so much, although my sister Wambo is a little bit older. But me and Karanja, and Gakuro, we grew up t together and you could always find us in a group and Maria would sometimes join us. But all the time, me and Karanja, we are comedian. And all what Dr. Du would say, how are we? These two people, whenever you are around them, you have to be laughing. I'll miss a lot from Dr. Du because when I'm in abroad, we talk a lot. Every, we send pictures. I'll tell you my pictures, pictures of my family and you sent me in a, like one Trump was somewhere in Kisauni, wearing a Muslim, uh, <laughs> forgive me for those people who are Muslims here, I sent him that <laughs> picture of Tra President Trump, my former president, wearing a council and uh, those shoes like mine, eh, but they are brown, eh? and he's very worried. So anytime we could talk and we talk a lot at night, after we hours, we are still texting and sending each other messages and laughing and reminding me some, you could always remind me some things way back when we were growing. I'll miss Dr. Duo very much. And I feel that the time he fell sick, on that Sunday we were going to my sister's house and when I told my sister one boy, I'm trying to call Dr. Duo, but he's not answering me. So she told me he's not feeling well. And in my conscience, my, to my thinking, I think the, the next time I tried to text him, he never texted me back. I tried to call him, he's not answering me. And now this is why I'm saying, Lord was preparing him to put us from talking to him because we, Lord did not want us to stop that journey he had prepared for him. The other thing, around that time, I remember when he's in the hospital, I could not get anything from him, and I'm still trying to call him. That is when uh, Muhammad had his phone, his son in Mombasa. He texted me and he told me, I'm not feeling well. Um, this and that happened. But the text was not coming from Dr. Duo, it was coming from his son, Muhammad. Then, the last thing I had, we had just gotten a... Uh, I don't know where we had come from. Uh, no, I was in the house the whole day. And in the middle of the 
we are to, to close to midnight, my sister one boy called me and she's crying so much. And I and I told her, Oh my oh, has he rested? Nehuroka. One boy is crying so much and I'm telling her it is well. It is well. I see now that moment Dr. Duo could not talk to me is because and I'll repeat, God was preparing him for the last days of his journey in this world and he didn't want me to interfere with him because he knew the plans he had for him. Okay, my, my words and the last thing to say, we all miss Dr. Duo, but he's in a better place. He's not suffering from anything. I've had diabetes more than that years. I'm still suffering. Dr. Duo ha is done with that. He's not sick. He don't need medicine, he don't need any attention. He's with the Lord, with his maker. God bless you all. Thank you. Uh, one of our relatives who had the body permit is the one who has delayed us because I've not released the body without that permit. But if we've called him, he is on the way. What we have said, in the interest of time, the body has been uh, identified as per procedure uh, by members of the family, uh, some of them that have been done. So the gracious lady, they have agreed to bring the, the body so that we can uh, start viewing those who wish to view. We, we are, once we are done with that segment and the body permit arrives, there will be no, nothing else to do. So I wish that uh, we remain patient. We are not moving as fast as we had uh, envisaged, but uh, we, we, we are going to make it. We are still within time. So please be patient. Uh, and uh, yeah, let us all stand. Let us all stand. And let us give him a standing ovation.
we shall sasa adugu na dada mpenzi wetu mpendo wa die huyu ako mbele zetu tunaomba muwe na imani muwe na nguvu muweze kustahimili najua ni siku nzito lakini tuko pamoja na tuasema katikati yetu tunaye yule mfariji kwa hivyo muwe na faraja mvumilie familia muwe na nguvu mjipe nguvu kwa sababu Mungu yuko nasi sasa tuka, tuta naomba yeyote yule anayeweza nafasi hii ya kumuona ndugu yetu maneno tukishakufanya hivi hatutafungua jeneza tena so if you feel like uh, uh, viewing you are you are at liberty and we shall do so quietly and uh, we shall be silent this is as we said is a very very solemn uh, moment the day is very solemn but let's do everything uh, very very prayer free uh, so our brother is lying there let us sit please be seated be seated and uh, we shall be silent as now we wait for the remaining formality of clearance to take place uh, i can see dr wairumbe has come dr gachuno has come uh, so we shall now proceed as soon as uh, we are cleared Meantime, let us have a quiet moment and let's support each other. Ukimwona mulie karibiana analemewa kidogo, please provide a shoulder to lean on. Let us be together. God is in our midst. Sister Recho, please do.
now we are through with the value permit. We have been processed and uh, now we should be moving to start our journey home. Thank you.
hata hiyo njia tuapita Aga Khan Hospital ndio hao msafara tuenda pore pore ukifika pare ruaka tutaegemea upande wa mchadha tukipita kwa underpass sasa kutoka hapo tuenda moja kwa moja paka tufike banana wa hapa bado ni kwenu lakini tuachukua wakati huu kuambieni karibuni sana na asanteni sana na poleni kwa safari kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki tutaendea kusikiza nyimbo tunao ndugu zetu ana kinumbi pale atatuchezea nyimbo taratibu taratibu sauti ya chini chini lakini sio chini sana na tutaanza ibada yetu ya maziko Munda si munda Mungu abariki
haya kumradhi nafahamisha ya kwamba hakutakuwa na haja kwenda msalani wanaume kule nje ya kwamba hapa nyuma facility tuko za aina mbili ya kwanza ni ya kina mama ingine upande ule wa kushoto nyuma ya nyumba hii kuna facility ya kina dada kwa hivyo usiwe na shida yoyote na kama nilivyosema ukiwa na tatizo au jambo lolote lile ambalo ungetaka usaidizi unione niko hapa
Karibuni wa mbolezaji wenzetu Tuelekea kwa, kwa, kwanza ibada yetu Munda si munda Na mtaraji padre Padre kifika tajulishwa Kwa sasa na wambeni tutulie tu Tuko karibu sana kwanza ibada yetu Ambayo tutunuhia kuanzia Matano Mutakaa kwa muda mwingi kwa sababu shakas leo kabisa kabisa shakas zote mbili ni fadha aweze kuende kuende kuendelea na, na sala za ibada lakini nitaomba mwili kwa mpendwa wetu uweze kuletwa hapa mbele ambao watatusaidia katika jambo hilo wakati huu ni mwafaka mkauleta mwili kwa ndugu yetu hapa mbele mwili wa baba yetu mwili wa marehemu mondo wa nyumba ito mbo hiwa habari ya hivi mwule haha as we wait that to happen I just wish to welcome each and all of you to this this occasion and to appreciate you individually for finding time to come 
kama daktari angeamka na anajua na tuona anashukuru sana ya kwamba ulitenga wakati huu siku ya leo kuja hapa na tuwashukuru sana kama familia japo tutaanena hayo baadaye lakini tuwasema kwa mustasari tu tunashukuru kuwaoneni mkija kutusaidia kuomboleza kifo cha mpendwa wetu ushirikiano ni kitu cha maana wakati kama huu kwa sababu tungepatwa na jambo hili tukakaa peke yetu tungesononeka sana kwa hivyo mahali umeketi siku ya leo you are where the lord ordained you to be and you are indeed within the will of god sasa ibada yetu itakuwa ya amani sana it will be a prayerful send off for our dear brother na kwa hivyo tuwakushukuru ya kwamba mahali umeketi you are reflecting on our brother hukai hivi hivi tu unamfikiria sana daktari vile alivyo kugusa wewe binafsi vile ameadhiri maisha yako namna hii ama ile ingine labda mlisoma naye mlihudumu naye kama ha professionals hapa kwa hivyo unapokaa pale twakuomba uwe pia ukimweka katika mbele ya Bwana ili afike salama salimini afike ambako ameitwa na ambako sisi zote tunaelekea kwa hivyo tuwashukuru sana hapa mliko ndio liko kitovu chake alikozaliwa daktari hapa ni nyumbani kwao kwa baba mzazi na mama mzazi na maskani hii ndio maskani yake kwa hivyo tumemleta kwake nyumbani na kwao nyumbani ambako jamii ambayo inatuzunguka ni ya ukoo wetu tunaitwa ambui ambalia igi kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya hao wote familia nzima ya dhuo familia ya daktari tunasema karibuni sana Mungu awabariki kwa hivyo wale ambao mnatusaidia kuleta jeneza hapa mtafanya hivyo nafahamishwa kuna gazebo ambayo italetwa ifunike casket vizuri ili wale ambao lakini ilikuwa kamati kaonelea hatuna haja kabisa ya kuona mwili kwa sababu mira hii hiyo na itikadi hiyo inaenda ikibadilika watu wameonelea tukamkumbuka daktari uso wake uchangamfu wake vile tulivyomjua na ambaye hakuwa amemwona kuna mapicha hapa program inayo kwa hivyo hatukaona hakuna haja ya kulifungua jeneza kwa hivyo ndugu zangu na dada zangu ambao mmefika na kuombeni tu baraka ya Mungu I wish you God's blessing In the morning I was asking God what message do you have for us I'm talking as I wait for them to do the need for and now naomba wacheza kinumbi pia mujitayarishe mara nikimaliza mkaweza kutuongoa ongoa na nyimbo za kutufariji So I was asking God what message do you have for us on a day like this because God speaks through seasons wakati wa kiangazi Mungu ana mjumbe wakati wa mafiriko garika wakati wa kuzaliwa wakati wa kifo Mungu kila wakati ana ujumbe kwa hivyo nilikuwa namuomba Mungu na muuliza je siku kama hii bwana what do you want to tell your people and so that as you are sitting there have a conversation with almighty god god what are you telling me as an individual yes we have come to bury our dear one 
But for me, what message do you have for me today? When we are in this kind of scenario, it becomes very relevant and very effective. We relate to God so well. I, I often make people laugh when I say, Naomba kama mungu wakati wa marejeo yake ya pili angetukuta kwenye matanga. Kwa sababu tumeomboleza, we have reflected and God is so real. But anyway, alisema takuja kama mwizi kwa hiyo huenda aje siku ingine ambayo umesahau. Mungu ni mwema. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati I'll be your master of ceremonies but that's a misnomer. I'm not the master of ceremony. I'm only being used by the actual uh, master of ceremony who is God himself, the Holy Spirit. Sasa nikiitwa master of ceremonies hapa unachukua kiti cha Bwana. Ndio huyo aletwe taratibu taratibu. Let us all stand up as his body is being brought forward. Tuinukeni kwa heshima na taadhima ambayo tunamtunukia mpendwa wetu anaporejeshwa nyumbani kwa ibada hii ya maziko. Tumpe heshima hiyo na pia tujikakamue ambao wanasononeka sana rohoni mfarijiwe na mungu wetu ambaye ni mfariji wa ajabu muwe na nguvu na ukimuona ambaye mko naye analemewa na kuomba ukaweza kumsaidia tuko na shirika la St John Ambulance hapa ambao wanaweza shughulikia dharura yoyote lakini tuomba Mungu kusiwe na dharura basi ndugu yetu amefika sasa tuomba gazebo iletwe tumweke pale kwa heshima kubwa alafu ibada itaanza baada ya ibanda tumemwandalia pahali pake abako atapumzika akisubiri kurejea mara ya pili kwa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo Bwana asifiwe mnaweza keti kama nilivyosema ukiwa na shida haja yoyote we are ready for you kule kwa kona behind this house Uh, the, the facility is a bit blocked by the vehicles but the far end corner of this compound within the compound there will be a place for gents and then on my right at the rear there is a facility for the for the ladies now in case you have a challenge health wise hapa bahati kubwa tuna madaktari utashughulikiwa Shirika la John Ambulance and John Ambulance pia wako hapa usiwe na wasiwasi wowote utatuambia niko na shida watu wana matatizo ya, 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 ya kiafya lakini we prepared well for you sasa wacheza kinumbi tupatieni wimbo moja au mbili tunaposubiri ibada ianze rasmi kwa na kiu tuna maji Haya, tuwekeeni nyimbo. Are you ready? Or can I ask a sister or a brother who is ready to sing? Are you ready? Okay, let's go. And then I would wish to inform you, we are, we are, we are, we are, we have a link. Eh? So I will give you the link. So that you should have somebody or a brother or sister, anybody who would wish to follow us live, then you can pass the same link to them. Bible Nita Isoma Naniwa Bishop Hio Lik Naitaka. Naya Takuberi and Eleni. Naibade Leo Tafadalini Yaki Katoliki. Aya. Wana. Wana unioshe nitakate kweli niwe mweupe kabisa Unioshe nitakate kweli niwe mweupe kabisa Wana uniyoshe ni 
tapate Iwe mweupe kabisa Mweze kupeana ratiba ya leo Ni nzuri Kila mtu wapate na kala yake Kwa hivyo wakti huu Naomba msabazi eh? Yuze kupewa Tenti ile Kuendelea hivyo Na hapa nyuma Kila mtu wapate na kala yake Halafu Basi baada ya wimbo huo na mwingine moja Tunaanza Ibada yetu rasmi
wapolezaji wa, wa, wenzangu waumini wenzangu e, tunataka anzisha or we want to start our program funeral program the father is arriving in a minute so uh, I've been asked and uh, that is the way to go once again to welcome you all of you into this uh, funeral service of our dear brother mjisikie um, mko nyumbani tunaona nyuso zingine watu mekuja wote uh, marafiki wa mwenda zake mefika hapa uh, karibuni tudaanza sasa na maombi na mwenye kuongoza maombi ni huyu ndugu wetu bwana Mungu yu mwema na kila wakati tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Ah uh, naitwa Mano Mwalimu Mano. Ah uh, mimi ni mshirika wa kanisa ama kigango tunakiita kigango cha mtakatifu Monica Raini iko hapa just behind ya yeah. na iko katika parish ama parokia ya Karori Karori Catholic Parish Padre wanakuja ndio uh, watakuwa wakituongozea ibada lakini kabla hawajafanya hivyo ya uh, tutaanza na maombi ili tuanze sio ya kuanza tutaomba ili tumshukuru Mungu kwa safari ya kila mmoja wetu tuombe kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu uh, baba katika jina la Yesu tuwaje mbele yako asubuhi ya leo we want to thank you we want to glorify you we want to honor you oh lord we thank you for this day we thank you for the gift of life and the gift of each one of us thank you for this meeting that you have brought together thank you for these people that you brought that they may we may pray together and hear your word as we send off dr gakuru we thank you for the your journey masses this morning for taking the family to leave you know home and back safely we thank you even for bringing each one of us and as we start this celebration to send over uh, dear friend we ask you to be uh, to take charge in this place so that we are going to set to set this place or to take this place and make it your church send your holy spirit to be here to be with us atuongoze kwa kila jambo kwa maombi kwa mambo tutakayoongea katika jina la Yesu tunaomba atukuzwe baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu kwa jina la baba na mwana na la roho mtakatifu amina tumsifu Yesu Kristo thank you uh, bwana manu i'll say again because of the covid uh, challenge we urge you to maintain the protocols uh, dr frank jenga would really support me when i'm saying this because he's telling us all the time and he's in the house with us so please make sure you are maintaining that distance uh, 
as I said earlier, this is uh, a Catholic service. Father is arriving any moment, but before he does, so he arrives, and even after he arrives, we shall now commence our program officially. I'll be very, very unkind uh, if you do not observe what we have agreed in terms of time. And we are now proceeding to hear, uh, to welcome the speakers. Now we are going to hear the eulogy as read by Bishop uh, Duo, his relative of this home and his bishop of the Church of Restoration. Karibu Bona Bishop. Makofi kwa Bishop. Salimu nyote katika jina la Yesu hamu jambo Majina angu ni Edwin Thuo Ni miokoka Na mpenda Yesu kama mwokosi wa maisha yangu And uh, Dr. Moses Gakuro Thuo Is my uncle And I'm going to read the eulogy now We can go together on page 4 Of the program Eulogy of the late Dr. Moses Gakuro Thuo Bath Dr. Moses Gakuro Duo was born on 24th August 1948 to the late Mr. Peter Thuo Dagisho and the late Beatrice Jerry Thuo. Dr. Thuo was raised by the late Margaret Waidera Thuo. He was a dear brother to Ambassador J.P. Mbogwa, Edward Gashono, Judith Gaduri, Rachel Nyoro, Simon Karani, all who are deceased. Sophia Jambi, Margaret Karugo, Mary Wamboi, David Karanja, Sala Mwaura, GSP Merie, OJ Mbogwa, DK Duo Advocate, Maso Wanjiko, Edward Gomi, and Paul Thiongo. Dr. Duo's early life was spent in Gedheria, Banana Hills, where he lived a humble village life. He was a very obedient, he was very obedient to his parents and fought of looking after the livestock and helping his parents in the shamba. He was very studious from a very early age. Education. Dr. Thuo's early education was in Kiamba Primary School, where he sat and passed the common entrance examination in 1960. He joined Karori Intermediate School, thereafter where he sat for the certificate of primary education in 1963. He joined Thika High School for his O levels, where he sat for the Cambridge School Certificate and passed with a distinction in 1967. And he did his A levels at the same school, where he passed very well in 1969. He proceeded to University of Nairobi, where he pursued a Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, and graduated in 1975. Uh, and graduated in 1975. Dr. Thuo pursued his postgraduate studies at the University of London, UK, and graduated with a diploma in industrial health and a Master of Science in Occupational Medicine at University of Edinburgh, Scotland. Dr. Thuo enrolled for membership with the Royal College of Physicians of the UK. He was awarded the prestigious Queen's Award for Excellence. In addition, he enrolled and obtained membership of the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. Family life. Dr. Duo was, a fa he was father to Peter Duo, Mrs. Jerry, Sarah Njoki, all of the USA, and the late Jude Wanjiko. Gilbert Misano, Sony, Mrs. Jerry, and Peter Duo, that is Pepe, all of the USA. Edwin Thuo, USA, and Saida Jerry Thuo, and Mahabud Abbas Thuo of Mombasa. He was an uncle, nephew, cousin, grandfather, and, and great friend to many. 
spiritual and social life. Dr. Lu was baptized as an infant in the SEK Church, Kiamba, by the Red Colonel Samuel Guru, and later attended confirmation classes at the same church and was confirmed by the late Bishop Obadia Karyuki. Dr. Lu was a very social, was very social, kind, and very generous. He related very well with the people of all walks of life, young and old. He took every opportunity to know the well-being of his family and friend and everyone he crossed paths with. During his leisure time, Dr. Thu loved leading, gardening, jogging, and swimming. He also loved taking photos, especially selfies. Dr. Thu's seriousness with life was combined with a high sense of humor and that made it enjoyable for friends and family whenever they interacted work. Dr. Duo started his professional career in the medical field from 1975. After he completed his undergraduate studies, he completed his internship at Coast General Hospital. Thereafter, he worked as a medical officer in various hospitals in the country, country namely Nyahuru Hospital, Orokalao Hospital, Busia District Hospital, and Bugoma District Hospital. Dr. Duo was recruited by the Kenya Post Authority, that is KPA, as a senior medical officer and was later promoted as a chief medical officer where he worked until 1994. Dr. Duo worked for over 20 years as a cardiologist in private practice in Mombasa Hospital from 1994 until his demise. Dr. Duo was passionate about his work and lived a selfless life serving people from all walks of life. His illness. Dr. Thu enjoyed good health for most of his life. He was taken ill and was admitted at Mombasa Hospital on Wednesday, 23rd December 2020, where he was undergoing treatment and the Lord called him home later that evening. Dr. Thu, we loved you. In God's hands you left and in our hearts you will live forever. May the Almighty God rest your soul let lest your gentle soul internal internal. I have fought a good fight, I have finished the list, I have kept the faith. Now we are going to lead in Kikuyu. Rugano Roamotigaire, Doctor Moses Gakuro Duo, Gushiaro. Doctor Moses Gakuro Duo. Ashi ya liruo mweli 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 na inya mweli wena na 1948 Ne ashi ya li ya ke mutika ire mse pita dhuo dhagi sho Na mutika ire bitwes jeli dhuo Dr. Dhuo ale liruo ne mutika ire mage tuwa idera dhuo Mashi ya liruo na atika ire ya basa da JP Mbogwa Edward diga shondo, Jude diga dhuri, Resho Nyoro na Simon Karani Ale ya age ni Sofia Jabi, Margaret Karugu, Mary Wamboi David Karanja, Sarah Mwaura, JSP Merie, OJ Mbogwa, DK Duo, Noe Advocate, Maso Ajiko, Edward Igomi, na Fauro Diongo. Dr. Duo Ale Liruo Ito Raineli Agedelia, Banana Hills, Emo na Muni Ini, Korea Aikarire, Muikarire Wawi Nyihia, na Gwadekira Ashiari Ake. Niaro Ragama Hiyo Magu Teiria, na Gwadekira Wira Wa Muguda. Dr. Duo Ali Mwana Mwedi Gudhoma Muno E Mwini Gudhomo Dr. Duo Abri Yegi Gudhomo Kia Ba Prima School Korea E Kire Kigera Nyo Gya Common Entrance Mwaka Iwa 1960 Na Aki Hito Kwa Wega Ni Asho Kire Kigera Karoli Intermediate School Na Aki Ika Kigera Nyo Gya Certificate of Primary Education Mwaka Iwa 1963 Ni Ahito Kire Na Aki Hito Deka High School Gudhomera O Levels Nye kire kegera niyo ya Cambridge School Certificate mwaka 1967 na kihitu kana distinction. Nye adhire na ambere madhomo my levels o kuhudhika high school na kika kegera niyo mwaka 1969. Vudha wako hitu kawega na igiri ya University ya Nairobi na kiheo digiri ya udagitari mwaka 1975. Dr. Duo niya shokiri ya gedhi ya gedho mo University ya Randan. Korea UK, Korea Age Ire, Diploma ya Industrial Health, na Vudhoshio, ni abo mire, ni abo mire Master's Degree, 
ya occupational medicine university ya Edinburgh Scotland oku UK Dr. Duo ni atu ikiremu member wa Royal College Physicians of the UK na hedio ni ya heiruo prestigious Queen's Award for Excellence na asho kire age tuwekamu member wa Royal College of Physicians of Ireland family yake Dr. Duo neither wa Peter Duo Beatrice Sijeri Sarah Joki area makorogo Korea United States of America na motiga ile jude wajiko na Gilbert Misano no eta gosoni Beatrice Jerry Peter Duo kana Pepe Edwin Duo wa USA nake Saida Jerry Duo na Mahmoud Abbas Duo ale amekuria Mombasa arari mamawe uh, kana na, na nephew kana cousin na guka na murata wa ato aingi kanidana mutulira wake dr duo ni avati dirio ari mwana munyinyi kanidaini wa sk church kiamba ne mutiga ile canon samuri guru na dubaine akigerwo moko kanidaini ohoshio ne mutiga ile bishop obadia karioki dr duo arari mwedia do mwenyihia na mutana ni arani tanagera na aduothe anini ona kuru ni aragi ya gana hida liya kumenya ulea rata na adu anyuba yake maraika raga. Lea aran kura uorudha, Dr. Thiwo ni aredete kudoma, kuruta wira wa mwoda, ona kuexercise, kudhabira, ona kuhurabisha. Arari mwodu wa madekania, na ni ara tumaga arata na adu amushie makene liya mashema nagia. Wira. Dr. Thiwo ni abiridye wira, Olea adho meire wa au dagitari mwaka wa mirogo ya giriemo na mirogo keda na ya mwaka jana idano Na ale kia githomo kia au ada graduate ni ale kiria internship di vitali ya Coast General Hospital Na buvaine ni aluti rewera wa medical spa officer di vitali ya Gorani Foroline Tanya Hururu Hospital Orokorawa Hospital Busia District Hospital na Bugoma District Hospital Dr. Duo ni ya dekiruo ni Kenya Post Authority ali Senior Medical Star na buvaini akihaishi ogadhi agetueka Chief Medical Officer Kulia ala aluti rewira kinya mwakaini wa 1994 Dr. Duo ni aluti rewira miakamiro goere e cardiologist wa private practice Korea Mombasa Hospital kuma mwaka wa giriye mwe mirogo keda magana keda mwa mirogo keda na inya ginya kuhuruka kwa ke Dr. Duo ni aredete wira wa ke na ni aralu tagira adu wa the wira na wiru teri mwenene Duwari Dr. Duo ni aralu tire ni aralu tire na ugima mwe ni aralu tire na ugima mwega wa mwere matuko ine make kure mwenye wa mweli mirongo ele na idhato mweli otore mwako otore ni aro walide na agitoro di vitale ya Mombasa Hospital kure ya ahuru kirio ni mwadhani huwaine oro hosio Dr. Duo ni toro hako edete huru kawega mwako ine mangai na agoro ine shito otore tene na tene ni egai akuhe ke huru kyo kiega ni edue te bara njega na liyo ihe nyari ya kuwa liga kinyamudhia ona ni duri ite menyele ile mwiti kiyo wa kuwa gaiwi ito wa mura adime Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop, for for reading the eulogy so eloquently. We thank you. Now we we are thankful that uh, uh, Father has arrived, and uh, after what we are doing now these eulogies and speeches will hand over to him to proceed with the rest of the program. However, before we do so, 
I would like to invite Peter and Faida Buo to read their tributes. Na muomba Petero na Faida waje hapa duo wakatusomea tribute zao. Hello everyone. Praise God. Nothing prepares you to utilize a parent. Nothing prepares you to you know face the fact that they are arrested. But we do so knowing that our father accomplished what he was set out to uh, to do. And so at this point we come in front of you with heavy hearts but also um with part of us knowing that he's in a better place. Before um Saida uh comes up I want to recognize uh some of us some of my siblings who are not here. We have uh Beatrice uh in Atlanta and uh Pepe as you guys had in Atlanta. Uh they did not make it uh they they could make it in time and also uh through in uh Dallas and uh want to let you guys know that we love you even though you're not here we uh we are we you know we we're, we're together in spirit the other thing is um though our father is rested i is uh the fast born we remain in lockstep my father was a man who loved peace As you guys know he was a man he was a great man I mean we'll miss so much but we remain in lockstep and we will protect his legacy we will not shame him in death so with that let me invite uh, Saida to come and um share uh, some some personal reflections Good morning to you all My name is Saida Jerry Tho I am the daughter of the late Dr Moses Kakuru Tho and for Sia Abdullah Muhammad I'd like to speak directly to my father because I believe he can hear me wherever he is Dad Dr Moses Kakuru Tho to many you are a confidant lifesaver brother cousin and father to me you truly were my best friend since I was young we had this unbreakable bond no one could make me laugh harder or hold a more intellectually stimulating conversation daddy you truly made me who i am today and despite you being so proud of your children i can guarantee you we were most proud to have you as our father despite your humble beginnings in banana you managed to soar to the highest levels of achievement from becoming mombasa's first cardiologist to meeting her royal highness queen elizabeth ii to your greatest achievement becoming a father to us all i think i speak on behalf of all my siblings when i say you truly were the best father we could have asked for i would like to end with a quote from one of your favorite shakespeare plays hamlet to highlight how you managed to touch so many of our hearts in so many different ways and i quote all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts sleep sweetly daddy love you forever and always for those of our friends who could not attend we are able to share with them the link which uh, they could uh, we, because we are live uh, if they go to video link and uh, google dr moses gakuru duo have confirmed we are live we have friends and children of the late who are some could not attend as peter has just said so it is important that you provide that uh, facility to them 
so that they can participate with us. I'll now call Bwanaduo, uh, DK Duo, Dr. Karanja Duo, who is an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, to come and say something on behalf of the family. Come. Good, good morning, Church. Wa Christo Apenzi to Musifu Yesu Christo. My name is David Karanja Thuo. I am a brother to Dr. Moses Gakuro Thuo. I've been asked by the family to say one or two things in relation to his life. Most of what pertains, or you know, the kind of little life he lived, ha has already been captured in the tributes and in the eulogy that has been able read by Bishop Thu. Mine is to mention one or two things. Uh, it's like we grew up together when, you know, extended families were basically living together. I think Peter Thu, the issue, was keeping like 20, 25 children in his home state. Some of them, not his children, but relatives. So we got to know him. We shared a lot of him. We shared a lot of things with him, and I want to state without contradiction that he was a gentleman from the time he was a very young boy. He was what the lawyers would call, what is that name for? It was Msaholo, and then Manawaberi. There's a name for it. There's a name for a gentleman, a consummate gentleman, if you like. And at heart is what he was. He's done a lot for the family. Uh, he shared his word with members of his family. When he went to Mombasa, he invited quite a number of uh, family members and friends to work there. Today we have some people whom I can still see. We have Edward Gomithuo. We have Peter Duogaduri. We have Anthony Peter Thuo. And we have John Bogwe also, John Bogwe and Jambi. Those are people who are still working at Mombasa and generally doing very well. Oh, uh, uh, the doctor was also a very close friend to, to our father. No wonder he appears to have taken a lot of traits from him. He was generally like uh, Peter Duo. He was a family icon. He would call us for meetings every time he came, like he came over Christmas. He came to his house here and... Uh, Mr. Jendo to come and speak on behalf of friends. Mr. Jendo and kindly uh, be brief. I know how close you are to him and you required a month to say just a little, 10% of it. So please be brief and welcome and thank you for being his good friend. Good morning all. I'll be brief as requested. My name is Kamau Jendo. The first time I met uh, Dr. Duo was in 1964 when we joined the high school, in Vika High School. And we have been uh, friends or what the youth call buddies since then. I have uh, come to this place several times, including when Muse was arrived. And the first time he saw me, he asked Dr. Duo, Kahega Kanega Aku. Uh, now, from that time that uh, we were visiting here, he was even visiting my home in uh, Mugwairi, in Moranga. We became very, very close, and we have remained very close. One thing I know, talking on behalf of uh, his friends, is that he was very passionate to people, very, very committed to the medical profession and let's say he was a very very kind man uh, I was the architect for this house I'm an architect by profession and uh, I've known this place since then and also even as much as I was his architect he was as much 
my doctor and our family doctor and also a doctor of so many of those Mobasa friends and we will miss him greatly. I do know members of his family and uh, we will keep in touch with them. We will continue praying together for the soul of uh, Dr. Duo and uh, let's say we will miss him and may God rest him in peace. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you look at the program in your hand, we are omitting uh, certain speakers like children, grandchildren and nieces, not out of respite, but because time is not our best ally. So you'll bear me for that. I'll be asking kindly Dr. Frank Jenga to come and deliver his reflections on our departed brother. Dr. Frank Jenga is not a stranger to all of you. God bless you. Can you sanitize this mic, please? Because you are a teacher on those things. On the 4th of July, 1970, a group of boys and girls met at the University of Nairobi and I bring their greetings. I will say only two things. First, that when we entered the University of Nairobi, the first lesson that we were taught was anatomy. Only one boy got distinction. Dr. Buaka is here, he did not get a distinction. <laughs> Dr. Ihenya is there, did not get a distinction. I am here, I did not get a distinction. Gakuro, one out of 70 boys and girls. The second thing I would like to say is before we finished university, around 1974, the University of Nairobi was closed because we went on strike. We are a bit naughty. <laughs> At the time, the president was Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, and he kept us almost for a year without reopening the university. We thought the old man had forgotten that he had closed the university. We looked for a way of getting to Jomo Kenyatta, and this man Wakuru Thuo, doctor, gave us the solution. He says, let us go to my father, Peter Thuo, and we came here. We found Peter Thuo, the old man, father of Wakuru, and he said, I have heard your call. He took us. Jobu Boka, you are there? Shamba, you are there? I was there. Wakuru was there. We went to the house of Bio Koinange, led by Mze Peter Thuo. We told him our story, Mze Koinange. That day, because of this man, the university opened. I will say no more. I can't say much about Saida and uh, Thuo, Peter, people I have seen since they were born, and other members of the family. All I will say, Gakuro, is we will miss you. We will miss you so, so dearly. And thank you for being our friend. Thank you, Gakuro. And God be with you forever. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Daktari. Tumpigia Makofi, Daktari. Asante sana for for that very, very special information. Uh, indeed, uh, the community organizing, funeral organizing thought you had something to say. Dr. Aboka, please, in a minute, with the Waihenya, please, please, because your names have been mentioned. We want to console you for not getting a distinction. 
So please come. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only consoling you. <laughs> Tell us why you didn't get it, eh? Or next time. <laughs> quick, quick. My name is Dr. Obwaka. He'll speak for himself. Great friend of uh, Dr. Thu. Tazumza kwa Kiswahili. Rafiki wa dhati. Mshupavu pandi ya kazi. Daktari mwaminifu. Ambaye alifanya kazi. Si Nairobi, si Mombasa, nyahururu na konti. Tutamkosa kabisa. This man lying here was to me a brother. And we were like four brothers. Dr. Njenga there, Dr. Michael Wahenya, and myself, and then himself. Four brothers, quartet. And we moved the same since 1970. For over 40 years, we've been friends. So the families, we know. The children from Peter Thuo to the youngest, we know you people. I want to take this moment just to say, ya kwamba tuko na nini pamoja, Baba zenu bado wako ni sisi. Kwa hivyo msitie wasiwasi. Mungu ataelekea mbele, anatuelekeza na sisi tutasaidiana na nyinyi tukiwa pamoja. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki. Hello everyone. Now I will revert to the yeah, I must begin by saying Paul to my friends here, the family of the uh, good friend uh, Gakuro, and even the larger family of um, the Peter Duo, whom uh, we knew very well. Uh, take our condolences and our friends' condolences. Uh, for the loss of your, the pillar of your families. Now, I don't want to repeat what my friend has said. He have uh, been a very special, he has been a very special friend to me. 50 years, not 40. And uh, this for musketeers, as we are called, uh, have been with him all these years from the medical school uh, to the working life up to now and uh, I will repeat again to the family that we are here for you uh, stay like uh, when MC said earlier peaceful uh, work together support each other and grow this big family even bigger as uh, Gakuro would have liked you to do. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you. Don't forget my coffee. I can't get it. 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 I and lay na ibada. Najua hapa ni kanisa na tukiwa kanisani hatukuzoea kuongea mengi. Kwa hivyo na washukuru ambao umenena kwa kuzingatia jambo hilo. Sasa kabla ya kumpatia kipasa sauti Padre na muomba dada moja amenililia Sara and very briefly dukante uira Doka hujie na doka arave. Noigwa? Doka mte uira, doka hujie na doka arave. Na doka hoere ya luwaru. Eh? Ako onelu ibowe haliri yale. Neho kejera. Na arua. Na arua, na arua, na arua. Leti etakere la muda maki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe, mwadhandi ya goswa, tomo kumbia su kristo, 
to kumihe desi othe jitago sara jeso ni mwadhani kwa dako inana masini na taodode ni rogo thie kahora reke nyini wa idhaiti guo mga bo unogo wale studio na nye joe gai vitoni ya kumuradhi ma kendo na itasiti doke itanaka inaro eboru waga vikere ria inyu othe mamore tuwa one gai nenyamara ere ya mogo toka nego kire Mesia, me llamaró y todo el cariño era con una que ya no haré ruya, y que no quiere no negue que no le llegue y lo quería ganar que era el yo no me voy a darle, va y borro a su que yo he dado pero yo quiero mucho, no quiero el día me llamaró, yo a nadie a nadie yo a nadie me gusta Oria, oria maga, korwa maga metio, maga kero, dobe na guo ya ohiki, na mahe ya reto aregeriro, eke no ke na ne eke no ne jigeiro, kere aga ne kere dia, e wai goro asokyo e dobe aje kere moto, ne go kire re dia me nyamaro. Amen. God bless you. Christo. Praise God. We are happy sisters. We want to bless you with one song and mutabarikiwa. When the maud omega amba toke my God Go ne kuo maud omega mone kaga mode
lady, you are very, very happy. Uh, and our brother is smiling about you. So thank you very much. I think now, when I hear you here, Moisho, na shukuru kwa kuwa mumilimu wa tulivu. Lakini kwa wale ambao labda ume ingia baada ya mimi kutangaza kunazo sehemu mbili ambazo tumetenga kule nyuma mkono ule kando kule kule kwenye kona ya ya boma kuna facility ambayo itakudumia uh, kina dada au kina baba na kwa upande huu ni mwangu kule kwenye kona kuna facility msalani ambayo itawasaidia wazee. Hayo nikisema mtalani um, wachelewa na leo mtalamenya ni hadu mundu wangi ruga ma. Leo kuruga ma ni wangi kan stand. Now again that might be a problem to start to move on. Kijia na wanasema hapo ujijazie. Lakini ni washrooms au facility hiyo ya kujisaidia. Luga kidogo inaleta shida. So we thank you very much for coming as I, as I said earlier, if you have a challenge and you feel like having uh, some water, we have water. If you have any other health issue that uh, you think should be attended, we have doctors in the house. And uh, we are lucky to also have St. John uh, people with us who can also attend to any, any need. I'll be handing over to Pastor Saudi kwa Padre. I want to thank you those who have spoken for being brief and, uh, and uh, God bless you. Now, I am. You will see for Jesus Christ, Sasa, Nataku wa Julisha to metoko wa Dr. Duo wa kuruduo tuko kanisani kanisani sisi wazee na tulubai kufia please wengine tuna weka kufia tukisikia padu ya kisema tuombe wanatoa tukuanzia saa hii tuko kanisani mpaka tumalize mazishi the other thing the other thing, please, uh, we've got very good gadgets here. The, the, you know the kind of, the, the, the wonderful work these uh, phones are doing. But sometimes they will get us out of, they will make us lose uh, sight of what, please. Please either switch it off or put it in silent mode. Ili tusije tukapotea Nataka kurudia wanaume tafadhali Let us remove our uh, heart Na tena nataka kukorekt MC uh, Katika ibada ya katoliki We don't uh, eat or drink So please just be patient You will take your water We are not going to take long Thank you God is good and all the times please to chukwe our booklets page 11 to smami Chako tuma ene sena Hila damu ya kebwana Sena wema wakutosha Dhambi zangu kuziosha Chako tuma ene sena Hila damu ya kebwana Sena wema wakutosha 
Ambe zango kozi osha Kwa ke yesu na si mama Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Damu yake na sadaka Na tege mea daima Yote chini ya kisha Mokozi ya tanitosha Kwa ke yesu na si mama Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Njia yangu iwe ndefu Yeye unipa wakobu Mawe mbi akini piga Nguvu za kendizo nanga Kwa ke yesu na simamu Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Ni kitwa hukumuni Roho ni ni na amani Ni kipigwa haki yake Sina wafu mbele yake Kwa ke yesu na simamu Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Ni mamba ni salama Kwa jina la baba, na la buwana, na la roho mtakatifu. Amina. Nema na amani ya mungu wetu. Upendo wa mungu baba na ushirika roho mtakatifu. Viwe nanyi nyote. Viwe pia na wa. Upendo wa na familia. Mama Elizabeth. Atoto wa marehemu. Drugu, jamaa, marafiki. Nasi jamii yote tulio kutana hapa. Asubu ya leo Wema wa mungu wakati mungine tunaufurahia Lakini wema huo huo mbao tunaufurahia wakati mungine unatusikitisha Hata kutugopesha Nikatuka tukio kama hili Halipo zaliwa Moses Wema huo wa mungu ulifurahisha kila mmoja wetu Halivyo kuwa naishi Moses na uduma katika jamii na familia yake Wema huo lionekana kila siku Sasa hivyo ya mefariki Tunaona huo wema ama hatu uoni Na kama huo ni huo wema humjui mungu Na kama tunaona huo wema tunamjua mungu Maana matuki yake mengi hata tusome Hata tugurajueti, hatuwezi kuyaona bila nguvu ya imani. Ni kwa tukio hili kila mmoja wetu, tunajumuika na wema wa mungu, ambao likamilishwa na kifo na kufufuka kwa ke kristu, kudidirisha kwa mba wema wa mungu, tukiwa hai, hatuja zaliwa, hata tumekufa, Wema wa mungu ni mkamilifu Basi na wakaribisha kila mmoja wenu kwenye ibada hii Ya kusherekea wema wa mungu ambao kristu mwenye ali usherekea Akiwa hai, akiwa mekufa Na baada kufufuka, haka ufanya huo wema Kuwa wa utukufu maisha siyo na mwisho Na ito wa Father Joachim kutoka Mombasa Huyo ni Father Francis, wote tumetoka Mombasa Kuja kujiunga na nini na kila mmoja wetu na kwa niaba ya wa Christ watu wa Mombasa Maskofu wetu na mapadri na masista Na wale wote ambao alihudumiwa na Dr. Duo kama daktari, kama mtibabu, kama mhudumu Tumeleta salamu zao 
Hasa umefika hapa kwa niaba ya jimbo kuu la Mombasa. Tutulie kimya. Yote aliyozungumzwa, yote aliyo rohoni mwetu, tumkabidhi Mungu ambaye tutasikia kwenye masomo yetu anaheri kwa yoyote yule ambaye moyo wake uko na amani. Ndugu na jamaa mliopo hapa Naomba tushirikiane kumwombea huyu jamaa yetu aliaga dunia Moses pate kusamehewa na kuondolewa dhambi zake Mungu ampokee kwake mbinguni aweze kufurahi pamoja na malaika na watakatifu na jamaa ya watu wote waliomtangulia katika hukumu ya uzima wa milele Nayatamani Nayatamani makao ya Bwana Nayatamani Nayatamani makao ya Bwana Maskani yake Bwana yapendeza kama ni Maskani yake Bwana yapendeza kama nini Ninakulilia katika unyonge wangu e kinga yangu Toka vilindini na kulilia e Bwana Usikie sauti yangu Sikiliza sauti ya dua zetu kwa ajili ya roho ya Moses Naya tamani Naya tamani makao ya Bwana Naya tamani Naya tamani makao ya Bwana Maskani yake Bwana yapendeza kama nini Maskani yake Bwana yapendeza kama nini E Mungu Kama wewe ungehesabu maovu yetu Kama wewe usinge turehemu kati yetu sote ni nani angesimama Kwa msamaha ni mwingi Na neema zote na fadhili kwako bwana ukombozi wazidi nimemngoja bwana roho yangu imemngoja bwana neno lako linalitumainia naya tamani naya tamani makao ya bwana naya tamani Naya tamani makao ya Bwana Maskani ya Bwana yapendeza kama nini Maskani ya Bwana yapendeza kama nini Tumombe sasa Mungu wetu atutie nguvu ya kupokea msiba huu kwa imani ku. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ulioonyesha njia endayo kwa baba yetu wa mbinguni, Bwana utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ulieleta uzima duniani kwa kifo chako. Kristo utuhurumie. Kristo utuhurumie. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo uliyetayarisha makao yetu mapya katika nyumba ya baba yako mbinguni Bwana utuhurumie Bwana utuhurumie Tuombe E Bwana Mungu wetu Usikilize sala zetu sisi wote tunaomboleza kifo cha Moses dua Tunakuomba sana huruma yako kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako Moses Tunakuomba pia watazame hao wote watumishi wako wanaomboleza uwape nguvu ya kuvumilia msiba huu kwa imani 
Natojaelea sisi sote tunao kutanika hapa. Na tunaoishi hapa duniani. Mwisho maisha yetu tukutane na undugu wake Yesu Kristo rafiki wa wote wanaomwamini waliofutwa na watakao futwa machozi kwa msalaba wake mtakatifu na ufufuko wake wa milele. Tunaomba hayo kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu wetu daima na milele. Baba yetu uliye mbinguni na lako litukuze falme wako ufike utakao lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni. Utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku samee makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamea na sisi walio tukosea. Usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utokoe mauvuni. Kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, turumie sisi na dunia nzima. Kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, turumie sisi na dunia nzima. Kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, turumie sisi na dunia nzima. Kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, turumie sisi na dunia nzima. Kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, turumie sisi na dunia nzima. Kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, turumie sisi. Kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo, turumie sisi. Baba wa milele, tunakutolea mwili na damu. Roho mwanao mpenzi sana, Bwana na mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo, kwa kuzirudia dhambi zetu na dhambi za dunia nzima. Msaada wetu ni kwa jina la Bwana, aliyeumba mbingu na nchi. Bwana awe nanyi. Awe pia. Hey Mungu ubariki hapa tulipo. Upafanye patakatifu. Mahali hapa tunaposimika altare yako kusherekea mafumbo matakatifu yanaounganisha sadaka za wanadamu na Mungu katika sadaka ya utukufu wako. Kila aliyepo hapa we na usalama mwilini na rohoni. Na tunapoadhimisha fumbo hili utukufu wako uwe nasi. Ya Bwana sikiliza sala zetu. Sisi tunaomba sana huruma yako ili marehemu mtumishi wako Moses uliyemhamisha hapa duniani. Umweke katika amani na mwanga pamoja na watakatifu wako. Tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Amina. Raha ya milele umpe e Bwana na mwanga wa milele umwangazie. Apumzike kwa amani. Amina. He Bwana wa rehema umjalie raha. He Bwana umjalie pumziko la milele Moses. Na mwanga wa milele umwangazie mtumishi wako Moses. He Mungu wetu. Wastahili kuimbiwa sayuni na kutimiziwa maridhawa yako na nadhiri zako ye Yerusalemu. We unayesikiliza sala kila mwanadamu aje kwako. Atukuze Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Kwa mwanzo na sasa na siku zote na milele. He Mungu wetu ubariki msafara huu. Ubariki mwili wa mtumishi wako Moses. Hili safari hii tunaenda kuipokea katika madhabahu haya ya imani. Ya unganishwe na utukufu wako kwa anayemwamini Kristo akiwa katika safari hapa duniani akamilishwa katika safari yake ya kumuona Mungu. Mungu wetu bariki mwili huu katika jeneza hili kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Mwili ukiwa na leto altareni kwa ajili ya ibada takatifu tutaimba wimbo namba page 10. wale wanaofahamu wimbo wa kwanza wa lugha kikuyu mmoja wetu atuanzie wimbo huu asante marehemu aletwe mbele altare
tuombe He Mungu Baba Mwenyezi Tunasadiki kwamba mwanao alikufa na kufufuka Tunakuomba kwa sala zetu na sadaka hii takatifu ya misa ya wafu Imjalie kwa wema wako huyo ndugu yetu Moses Duo Alilala katika Kristo Hapate furaha ya kufufuka kwa nani alimwamini Kristo na anashiriki ufufuko wa Kristo kama mwana wa Mungu Tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu wetu daima na milele Tuketi tusikilize neno la Mungu Sama la kwanza. Sama katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. Petro alifumbua kinywa, akawaambia Koneli na jamaa yake, "Hakika natambua ya kuwa Mungu hana upendeleo, bali katika kila taifa mtu amchaye na kutenda haki, hukubaliwa na yeye." Neno lile alilowapelekea wana wa Israeli akihubiri habari njema ya amani kwa Yesu Kristo, ndiye Bwana wa wote. Jambo lile ninyi mmelijua lililoenea katika Uyahudi wote likianzia Galilaya baada ya ubatizo aliohubiri Yohane habari za Yesu wa Nazareti jinsi Mungu alivyomtia mafuta kwa Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu naye akazunguka huko na huko akitenda kazi njema na kuponya wale walionewa na ibilisi kwa maana Mungu alikuwa pamoja naye Nasi tu mashahidi wa mambo yote aliyoyatenda katika nchi ya Wayahudi na katika Yerusalemu ambaye walimua wakamtundika mtini huyo Mungu alimfufua siku ya tatu akamjalia kudhihirika si kwa watu wote bali kwa mashahidi waliokuwa wamekusha kushaguliwa na Mungu ndio sisi tuliokula na kunywa naye baada ya kukufu, baada ya kufufuka kwake kutoka kwa wafu akatuagiza tuwahubiri watu na kushuhudia ya kuwa huyu ndiye aliyeamriwa na Mungu awe mku, awe mhukumu wa wahai na wafu huyo manabii wote humshuhudia ya kwamba kwa jina lake kila amwaminie atapata ondoleo la dhambi neno la Mungu wimbo wa katikati kitikio bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu Bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu. Bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu. Bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu. nani? Bwana ni ngoma ya uzima wangu. Ni mhofu nani kiitikio? Bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu. Neno moja nimelitaka kwa Bwana. Nalo ndilo nitakalo litafuta. Nikae nyumbani mwa Bwana siku zote za maisha yangu. Ni utazame uzuri wa Bwana na kutafakari hekaluni mwake. Kiitikio? Bwana yangu na Bwana. E Bwana usikie kwa sauti yangu ninalia. Unifadhili, unijibu. Bwana, uso wako nitautafuta. Usinifiche uso wako. Kiitikio? Bwana yangu na ya kuwa nitauona wema wa Bwana katika nchi ya walio hai. Umgoje Bwana, uwe hodari. Upige moyo konde. Nam, umgoje Bwana. Kiitikio? Bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu. Bwana ni nuru yangu na wokovu wangu. Shangilio. 
Na kushukuru baba, bwana wa mbingu na nchi, kwa kuwa mafumbo ya mbingu ulio wafunulia watoto wachanga. Nawasihi tusimame kwa injili ya Bwana. Bwana awe nanyi. Somo katika injili ilivyoandikwa na Mathayo. Mathayo mlango wa tano mstari wa kwanza hadi 12. Yesu alipowaona makutano alipanda mlimani na alipokuisha kuketi wanafunzi wake walimjia akafumbua kinywa chake akafundisha akisema Heri walio maskini wa roho maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni wao Heri wenye huzuni maana hao watafarijika Heri wenye upole maana hao watairithi nchi Heri wenye njaa na kiu ya haki maana hao watashibishwa heri wenye rehema maana hao watapata rehema heri wenye moyo safi maana hao watamuona Mungu heri wapatanishi maana hao wataitwa wana wa Mungu heri wenye kuudhiwa kwa ajili ya haki maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni wao Heri ninyi watakapowashitumu na kuwaudhi na kuwanenea kila neno baya kwa uongo kwa ajili yangu. Furahini na kushangilia kwa kuwa thawabu yenu ni kubwa mbinguni. Kwa maana ndivyo walivyowaudhi manabii waliokuwa kabla yenu. Injili ya Bwana. Naomba tuketi. God is good and all the times the very God who is good to each one of us the very God who is good and what makes him good is his nature his nature wonderful za tafakari kidogo kuhusu maumbile how nature is wonderful lakini kabla hapo naomba kutoa rambi rambi zetu kule Mombasa kwa mama Elizabeth watoto wa duo ndugu jamaa na marafiki classmates wake bishop na kila mmoja wetu nakumbuka nilikuja wakati mmoja hapo wakati ambapo da mbugu alifariki some years back nilikuwa nasoma hapa Catholic University kwa sababu ya ushirika wetu na ukaribu wetu kule Mombasa nikafika hapa na wakati nilipofika hapa kulikuwa na maua mengi some place around bado yako eh e, flower garden so flower shamba za around Alafu kulikuwa na mtu mmoja hapa I remember him very well somebody from Switzerland tukawa tuna chat na yeye hapa Akaniambia Naona maua yaliyoko hapa even today I see some roses around they are still there Naambia if this kind of soil was meant to be in Switzerland where is very rocky and Whenever it is 
winter time have been there sometimes you find the snow on the rocks on the alps everything dies it's no life but when summer comes during the primavera period it begins to come out life comes back we give it a time of a month or so it turns to be green sooner or later you have flowers around sooner or later you have fruits around sooner or later people begin to harvest it is nature operating itself ukiangalia okay, hizi roses hapa zinajitunzia hapa duniani ukiangalia okay, samaki those of us who love fish like Mombasa in the ocean the fish feeds in the ocean in the water and whenever you go could be in the market so in the supermarket you find the fruits they are nurtured here you find the vegetables they are nurtured here hata hapa mnakoishi kuko na ngombe wazuri tumeona huko njiani majani wanayokula yatoki mbali hapa maji wanayokunywa yatoki mbali hapa mwanadamu anayewahudumia hatoki mbali hapa go in the national park all those wild animals they feed themselves they drink the very water even at times they treat themselves whenever they get sick is here na zaburi yetu imesema neno moja na liomba only one thing i ask to remain in your house o lord but where is the house of god where is this house We have so many good buildings like this one. And we say I'm going home. This is my house. Even in Nairobi some place some of you have got rental houses. This is my house. And if you live from Nairobi to Mombasa you say I'm going home. We identify the very home with the house. One thing I ask of you, O oh Lord. One thing. And I'm sure many of us We have asked for so many things money a help food knowledge because our life is meant to search we are searchers we search for life we search for food we search for work we apply for food we apply for work we apply for education we apply for so many things have you ever applied for entrance into the house of the lord have you ever dared to convince yourself eh hey, mungu neno moja naliomba kwako niishi kwako milele tulipofika so, hapa mmoja alituambia there is a room if you want to rest a little bit there is a room here is that the home you are looking for is our resting place the very bed you have the very mattress you bought very expensive the very house where you get in and out every day one thing i ask of you o oh lord is this coffin a sleeping mat is this coffin our destiny is this coffin our pillowcases is this coffin permanent if we say this coffin is permanent there are so many coffins even you are going to mix to make one for you one for me one for the other one if our nature is meant to see god na injili yetu imesema heri wenye moyo safi kwa maana atamuona mungu 
matunda yametengenezwa yame, yame kwa usafi mwingi tunakuta sokoni tunayanunua and we normally select the good fruits not the rotten ones and we normally eat the ripen ones hivi mshai kula mapapaya mbaya jaiva have you ever dared they are very sour even bitter very rash lakini yale maembe matunda yanajitunzia hapa duniani siku baada ya siku ukiangalia juu ya mti unasema yale maembe yameshaiva they said we are ready come and eat we are ready take us to the market we are ready save us serve us at table when are we ready for death when are we ready for our death Nature cares. Time cares. Nature defines. Time defines it. How old are you? How old am I? Francis, how old are you? Is your death halfway, Baba? I don't know. Is my climbing ladder to death at 90%? I don't know. Is my downfall ladder coming to minus? I don't know. Let each one of us to the knowing of death being defined not by the coffin but by searching for God. One thing I ask of you O oh Lord one thing is to let me live in your house forever that foreverness is a problem that endness is a problem but it becomes not a problem when it becomes complete and you have no choice we have no choice Ukienda okay, supermarket hakuna maembe. Ukipata mapapai unanunua my rice. Ukienda okay, kule supermarket hakuna sukuma wiki. Ukipata okay, labda cabbage unanunua. Death has no choice. The clear choice of death is to see God. The clear definition of death is to see God. But the formula to die search for God. Search for God. If you can spend more time, more time more than ever to search for God more than we search for our needs will be living and living people, living and living forever here on earth. I was once a priest at the customs in Mombasa. Whenever I come from the seminary, I go to I used to go to Mombasa for the English mass at seven. Thuo comes from us, and he asks me, Father. I remember there was a day we had a funeral of the child of our parish. She was, she was a Rwandan. She died. Thuo came and asked me, Father, are we escorting this mama or this mama is escorting us? Have we come here to escort the mama who has died or the mama who has died is escorting us? What was I to say? There's no escort. Death escorts us. She has been escorted. It is waiting for me to escort me. 
is death in front of us or behind us? Watu wa Mungu mko. Is it death before us or behind us? No answer. Death is in me. And if death is in me equally to what life is in me, appreciate yourself by being near to God. Love yourself by being very near to God. Care for yourself. And that care as Peter was asked, Peter, do you love me? Yes, you know. Lisha. Lisha kondo zangu. Uyo ndugu yetu alitulisha kule Mombasa huyu marehemu huyu. Hakuna padri wa jimbo la Mombasa. There is no single priest in Mombasa alive or dead who has never been touched by the Lisha. Alilisha watu choma sibanu weka dawa lala hapa counseling alilisha na Mungu alimpatia kipaji cha kulisha watu people of god have you ever been sick have you ever told you have tested the agon of being sick that particular moment when somebody comes to you akwambia wewe mgonjwa hata wewe si mgonjwa si unaona mimi ni mgonjwa kuliko wewe you feel relieved ndio alikuwa anamwambia father unasema moyo wako unauma wangu ni mbaya zaidi na kama wewe unatakiwa dawa two doses mimi nahitaji kupata four doses so you feel the doctor is sick the doctor is more in pain than myself huyo kwetu kule Mombasa na salamu lizotuma dhuo Moses to care of our health to care through his knowledge to care through his sleepless nights to care even when we are dead Asanteni wale wote mliomfundisha kwamba binadamu anahitaji kutunzwa and he took it with dedication with the passion with the love Apadre wetu mmoja kule Mombasa alikuwa mgonjwa Moses akamwambia you know father kama wewe ni mgonjwa hizi dawa nazo kula si mbaya kama wewe Ambia kwa nini? Ambia hizi dawa ni nzuri. Lakini wewe kama ni mbaya kuliko hizi dawa utapona. Ambia hasa kwa nini unasema hivyo? Ambia you know when dawa is meant to heal you. And if your heart is not in the state of being healed, heli dawa zenye uchungu kuliko ni roho yenye dhambi. Moses salimwambia padri mmoja. Heri dawa yenye uchungu kuliko ni roho yenye dhambi. Yo father akamuuliza sasa mimi ni kifa. Ni dawa imeniua ama ni dhambi? Ambia pana, dawa inaponyesha lakini dhambi inakuwa mbele ya Mungu. Thank you Moses. Thank you one of us. For those whom you touch in life, whether in pain, in agony, in whichever situation, may the very, very God who gave you that passionate heart grant you eternal peace. We wish you well. We accompany you. People loved you. And yesterday, I went for a June funeral of Javan, who was a patient of Moses. Sasa nilipofika pale nikaambia ninaenda Kiambu kumzika Moses. Mmoja wa wale ambao walikuwa na mtunza Javan akiwa anatibiwa na Moses. Akaniambia ukienda huko mwambie Moses 
hata ule mgonjwa wake alikufa Moses ulitibu wakapona ulitibu Mungu akawachukua ulijitibu na wenzako wakakutibu na Mungu akakuchukua matibabu uliyofanya na uliyofanya watu wengine ya tibu roho yako uweze kumuona Mungu God is good and all the times let us pray Bishop karibu sana mame zote ili tuweze kuomba Tuinamishe mtoto zetu tuombe Baba katika jina lako tuwasema ni asante ni kwa sababu ya dhuhuri ya leo umetunenea Bwana tuko mahali hapa kwa ajili ya Dr. MG Thuo ambaye alikuwa mmoja wetu na siku ya leo umetayari ume umemchukua Tuwasema ni asante kwa maisha yake wakati alikuwa nasi hapa duniani wakati alikuwa na tibu watu alikuwa najua hata yeye siku moja ataaga na ni kwa asante kwa sababu Bwana tunajua ya kwamba siku zake za mwisho alikuwa najua tayari ameanza safari Mungu nasi ndiye tumewachwa na pia na familia sana wamewachwa lakini tunakuomba ya kwamba ufariji roho zetu. Bwana rafariji rafa roho ya familia yake. Kwa kweli wamejaona machozi. Lakini wewe ndio unaweza kuwaondolea machozi hata machozi ya ndani ya roho. Tunakuomba uwafariji. Tunakuomba uwanene maneno ambaye itafanya roho zao zitulie. Mungu ni asanti kwa sababu ya kazi njema ambaye alifanya hapa duniani wakati alikuwa anaanza masomo hakujua kazi ile ambaye ataifanya lakini siku ya leo tumesikia vile alifanya hiyo kazi kwa kupenda watu kwa kutibu watu waina yote kwa upendo mkubwa ametuonyesha upendo ndio kitu ya maana hapa duniani ameguza roho za wengi ameguza roho za watoto wale ambaye ni wazee watu wa kabila yote hapa Kenya yetu na hata sio hapa tu lakini kule kuokote ambaye alienda Bwana tuwakushukuru kwa maisha yake tuwakushukuru kwa vile ulimpa kwetu hapa tukaishi na yeye siku ambayo ulimwandalia hata kabla hajaumbika katika umbo la mama yake tuwakushukuru ewe Bwana na vile tumekusanyika mahali hapa kama vile neno limetuambia Tusaidie kila mmoja wetu kujiandaa. Tusaidie kila mmoja wetu tujuane nawe. Tujijenge, tukae, tu, tu, tujue ile makao mahali ambayo tunataka kwenda, kuishi katika nyumba lako siku ambayo sina mwisho. Bwana tuwakushukuru na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeoma na kuamini. Tumombe huyo ndugu yetu kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyesema Mimi ndimi ufufuo na uzima tunakuomba e Mungu umweke miongoni mwa watakatifu na wateule wako Moses Thuo Aliyesafishwa kwa maji ya ubatizo na kupakwa mafuta matakatifu ya wokovu E bwana tunakuomba Tunakuomba utusikie. Tunakuomba umpokee mbinguni Moses aliyekula karamu ya mwili na damu yako takatifu na kuishi utajiri wa neno lako hapa duniani na kuishi utajiri wa jumuiya zetu hapa duniani jumuiya ya kanisa 
jumuiya ya familia yake na jumuiya ya watu wote aliowatibu kama ulivyompatia talanta yako ya matibabu tunakuomba e bwana tusali sasa kwa ajili ya wote wanaoteseka those in pain those in agony those who are sick God our father the redeeming cross of Christ was meant to heal us was meant to cure us was meant to bring us peace particularly through the power of your love may all those who are suffering lord in agony and particularly the family that is left behind may you give them peace may you unite them in love and may you as they share the agony the loss of their dear one may your kingdom that reveals the power of your son in our lives shine on them with a deep faith lord hear us lord graciously hear us e mungu mumba wetu na mkombozi wa umini wote usijalie roho za umini marehemu wako maondole ya dhambi na kwa maombezi matakatifu ya ibada hii ya wakfu Umsamehe mtumishi wako Moses na wale wote aliowakosea e Mungu wapatie tumaini kwamba hakufanya hivyo kwa ajili ya kutokumjua Mungu matukio yote hayo yaliviana na ubinadamu wetu usio na ukamilifu endelee kuwagusa wote walioguswa na mwenzetu huyu waunganishe na utakatifu wa huduma yako kwa watu wote kama maombile yetu yanavyotuhudumia na maombile yote ya ulimwengu kama ulivyoyaumba atukuze Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu raha ya milele umpe e Bwana apumzike kwa amani salamu Maria mejaa neema Bwana yunayo umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na Yesu mzaa tumbo lako amebarikiwa. Maria mtakatifu mama wa Mungu, utuombe sisi wako sefu sasa na sasa. Tunaomba hayo Mungu wetu kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. wa matoleo sasa tutaimba wimbo nimevipiga vita ukurasa wa kumi Thank you. 
Tusimame Saleni mapendwa sadaka na nia zetu vyote vikubaliwe naye Mungu Baba Mwenyezi Bwana upokee sadaka mikononi mwako kwa sifa na zikufu kwa jina lako na pia kwa mafaa yetu sisi na mafaa kanisa lako lote takatifu He Bwana tunakutolea kwa ibada dhabihu hii kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako Moses apate kuokoka na kwa kuwa tutishaka kwamba manao ndiye mwokozi umema tunakuomba e Mungu umfikishe naweze kumuona hakimu wake mkuu aliyemwamini Kristo mwenye huruma tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu bwana awe nanyi awe mioyo tumshukuru bwana Mungu wetu kweli ni vema na haki tukushukuru daima na popote bwana baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu yeye mmoja alikubali kupokea mauti kusudi sisi sote tupate tusipate kufa maana ilifaa mmoja afe ili sote tupate kuishi milele pamoja nawe yeye ndiye wokovu wa ulimwengu uzima wa watu na ufufuko wa wafu kwa hiyo majeshi ya malaika waabudu utukufu wako e Mungu wakifurahi milele mbele yako nasi tunaomba sauti zetu ziungane nao tukisema kwa shangwe Osana jumbinguni Osana jumbinguni Mbariki wa hanae kuja kwa jina lake Bwana Mungu Mbariki wa hanae kuja kwa jina lake Bwana Mungu Hosana hosana jumingu Hosana hosana jumingu Hosana hosana E bwana kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilicho mbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao na kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu unatia uzima na kutakasa vitu vyote wala uwachi kwa kusanya watu kwako ili toka mawe ya jua hata macho yake wa kutolea sadaka safi. Basi tunakusi e bwana uzibariki dhabihu hizi tunazo kutolea. Upende kuzitakasa kwa roho wako ili zijeuke kuwa mwili na damu ya manao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye alipojitoa kwa hiari yake ateswe. Alitoa mkati akakushukuru kutukuza kaapo wafuasi wake akisema. Tuwaeni mle wote. Huo ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu.
Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula katoa kikombe akashukuru tena kapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaeni mnywe wote kile kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya la milele takamwajika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi Ni fumbo la imani Yesu yalikufa Yesu alifufuka Yesu atakuja tena Fumbo la imani Yesu yalikufa Kristo alifufuka Kristo atakuja tena Kwa hiyo e bwana Tunapokumbuka mateso huyo mwanao na kufufuka na kupaa kwake mbinguni Tunapongoja na kuja kwake mara ya pili Tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii yenye uzima na utakatifu na kuomba uyangalie na kukuibadi hii sadaka kanisa lako uliotaka kutulizwa nayo tujalie sisi tutakao lishwa mwili na damu ya mwanao tujazwe na roho wako mtakatifu ili tuwe mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo ya tufanye sisi tuwe kwa sadaka ya milele na tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako Bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu. Dami tume na mashahidi wako wenye heri. Na watakatifu wako wote ambao daima wanatuombea kwako. Tunakuomba e Bwana sadaka ya kutupatanisha nawe ile amani na wokovu duniani kote. Uliimarishie kanisa lako imani na mapendo hapa duniani. Yaani mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francis. Na askofu wetu mkuu John Cardinal Njue. Na askofu msaidizi David Kamau. Maaskofu na watumishi wako wote pamoja na taifa lako lote. Usikilize kwa wema sala za jamii hii iliyo hapa mbele yako. E baba mwema kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani. Umkumbuke mtumishi wako Moses Tuo. Uliye mwita kwako kutoka dunia hii kwa kuwa alishiriki kifo cha Kristu kwa ubatizo, umjalie shiriki pia ufufuko wake. Siku ya ufufuko, Kristo ataifananisha miili yetu na mwili wake mtukufu. Pia wapokee katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote walioaga dunia katika hali ya neema nasi tunatumaini kujawa na utukufu milele katika ufalme wako ndipo utakapofuta machozi yetu yote maana kwa kukuona wewe Mungu wetu kama ulivyo tutafanana nawe milele yote na kukusifu bila mwisho utujalie hayo kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu aliyesili ya mema yote kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele Amina 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 Amin Tunaenzi umungu wako e Mungu unao muumba mwanadamu unao mtunza mwanadamu na unao mpatia utukufu wako sio na mwisho tukisali kama alivyotufundisha Kristu kusali Baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni watupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku 
Hutusamee makosa yetu kama tunavyowasamea na sisi walio tukosea usitotie katika kishawishi lakini utopo E Bwana tunakuomba utopoe katika maovu yote Mungu utujalie kwa wema amani maisha ni mwetu Mungu umepushe na lana ya milele mtumishi wako Moses nasi tulio hai tuepushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako tusifadhaishe na jambo lolote Tungoje kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo Akuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata tunaomba sasa amani kwa na familia hawa amani katika roho zetu amani kama msingi mkuu unamwezesha kila mmoja wetu kutumia maumbile tuliyopewa na maumbile yake Mwenyezi Mungu hapa duniani ya tuandae kwa maumbile matakatifu ya ufalme wake e bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako na waachieni amani wapeni amani yangu nitazame familia hii e Mungu nasi utasame sisi wote wa dhambi ila kwa imani ya kanisa lako hili Utujalia amani na umoja kama alivyo mapenzi yako. Mungu naye na kutawala daima na milele. Amen. Nyoshe mikono yetu hivi. Amani yake Kristo iwe nanyi nyote. Iwe pia na. Ondoa e dhambi za dunia utuhurumie e mwana kondo kuondoa e dhambi za dunia utuhurumie Mwana kondo kondoa e dhambi za dunia utojalie e bwana Yesu Kristo Mwana wa Mungu mzima ulileta uzima duniani kwa kifo chako kwa kumtii baba na kwa msaada wa roho mtakatifu utuokoe sisi wote tutakao shiriki mwili na damu yako hii takatifu katika maovu yetu yote na wetu Mungu wetu usituache tutengane nawe kamwe tuziishi amri zako tuunganike na utawala wako wa mbinguni huyu ndiye Kristo mwana kondoa Mungu aondoe dhambi za dunia Heri yetu tulio shiriki na utakao shiriki vyema kwenye karamu yake hii takatifu. E Bwana sistahili uingie kwangu lakini sema neno moja tu na roho yangu itapona. Mwili na damu ya Kristo vitulinde tupate uzima milele. Wakati sasa pokea kwa mwenye utakatifu ni wakati ambapo tunalikwa na ni kwa wale wa Kristo wa Katholiki ambao wamepata ruhusa na pia wamejiandaa kuweza kupokea mwili wa Kristo. This communion time and uh, the communion is for those Catholics who have prepared themselves and are allowed by the church to receive the holy communion. Ribbon.
Amen. Dasali Zaburi ya Telathini Wimbo wa Buriani Kwa Pendo wetu Moses Laitikia Uwe kwangu muamba wa nguvu E wana 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 Uwe kwangu muamba wa nguvu Hey, Mungu Wana wahurumia wakosefu Na kuwabaheri watakasifu wako Na napomba mpunishu wako Moses duo Wana mfanyia leo mazishi yake matakasifu Wamjalie heri ya milele pamoja na watiule wako Wamfungulie pingu za mauti na siku ya ukufuku, hafike bele yako na mwini mtukufu. Unamba hayo, wajia kristu wanapitu. Mbeti. Kwa msiku Yesu Kristu, 
ni wakati wa matamleo offerings vile tumeketi na watu watakuja na mitapu toe matoleo yetu ya mfuko yani ya pesa ukisha kufanya hivyo tauliza familia yote ya Dr. Gakuru Dr. Duo na the extended uh, Duo family larger Duo family uh, watarudi pale nyuma na watu wako na vitu vingine utapeleka kwa altari kwa msafara ileta hapa tutaletea padre na tutasimama hapa ili tukifanya hivyo familia itaombewa asante msifu Yesu Kristo haya wale ambao wanafanya hivyo
kujueka modo mbaka ya kitu ini E Mungu wetu unabariki na kutakasa tabihu za watu zitokazo rohoni. Uitazame familia hii e Mungu inaotoa sadaka hizi kwa ajili ya mtumishi wao, baba yao, mmoja wao, kiungo kimoja cha damu yao kilichomrudia Mungu kwa nguvu ya kifo. Uzibariki dhabihu hizi. Ishara ya upendo wao kwa ndugu yao aliyeitwa na Mungu katika maisha mapya. Takasa dhabihu hizi za roho zao ili wakujiongee na moyo safi katika maisha yao. Wakiiga mifano ya huduma njema ya baba yao na ndugu yao na huduma hii inayoendana pia na huduma ya kanisa lako na familia yote ya watu waliofika kuomboleza siku ya leo iunganishwe na baraka yako ya mbinguni yenye mtima wa amani mtima wa imani kuu na mtima wa wokovu Mwenyezi Mungu bariki dhabihu hizi na waja wako na baraka hiyo ya amani baraka ya imani na baraka ya ukunjufu wa roho sasa na milele yote kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amina
Asante Padre. Sasa tuelekea katika kutamatisha ratiba yetu ya mazishi lakini kabla ya kumrudishia Padre atuongoze katika kupeleka mahali pake pale ambako atapumzika kimsubiri mwokozi atakayetufufua Dr. Gachuno tafadhali kuja ukaweza kutoa vote of thanks na kwa njia ya kifupi na wale ambao hatukuweza kuwataja kwa majina tafadhali mtuie radhi ni kutokana na ratiba haikuturuhusu ingawa hivyo kuna dada yetu Ruth Kagea kwa hapa kwa kushukuru kwa kuja na madaktari wote kutoka pwani na kwingineko waliokuja na marafiki wengine tafadhali mchukue shukrani zetu kwa sababu ya kutuja hapa kwetu leo faraja zenu tumesipokea daktari jo utoe vote of thanks tuna daktari katika familia pia a very good afternoon everybody i condole the immediate members of the family today we are gathered here uh, to lay to rest a fine gentleman by excellence who had a very checkered career it's unfortunate that i'm talking after my seniors it's not the issue of protocol but i think one of the reasons why i was chosen to give a vote of thanks is the fact that uh, unlike the four musketeers i have a blood relationship to the departed and uh, he really impacted my life when i was young i had anticipated to do some other funny courses as every mischievous young boy anticipates to do but little did i know that he conspired with my father my late dad so that i can uh, follow in his footsteps and their wish was that uh, behind him in the younger generation there will be maybe two at least two doctors because he was taking the lead one of them who is uh, a cousin of mine uh, happened uh, to have succeeded in doing so and the fact that she was a niece he was very keen now on a nephew following his footsteps and i was very glad that i, I was able to actualize his dreams um first and foremost we have to give thanks to the almighty who was able to bless him for 72 years some of us who are obstetricians sometimes get perturbed by the fact that you follow a mother during the prenatal duration and before the due date the baby dies in the womb but we are glad to the mighty for having blessed him for 72 years and he led a, a full life uh, and most of us were privileged to have been acquaintances or related to him because he touched our lives in a big impact. I want to take this opportunity uh, also to thank the clergy, Father Joaquin, Father Francis, for having traveled all the way to Mombasa to condole the family and to lay to rest our departed uh, uncle Daktari. We are also grateful for the clergy in Karuri, the local parish, led by Father Emmanuel, who are gracious enough to have allowed uh, the uh, parochia from Mombasa to come and lead in this process. Uh, in the same regard, we are also grateful to the Church of Restoration, which is led by Bishop Edwin Thu, who is here with us today, for having graced the equation every day by providing with us the PA system and the backup choir system, and also for coming to have, uh, having every day coming to condole with the family. Uh, we are also grateful uh, to the friends of Daktari, led by Mr. Jendo, who was here earlier on, uh, because they were comrades with uh, the late Daktari. Uh, till his uh, final days, they stood side by side with him and his family, 
And if even after his demise, they were able to come and condole the family and stood firm with them and organized what was necessary. We also uh, indebted uh, to Dr. His colleagues in Mombasa, led by Dr. Wyas Karim, uh, who took care of him uh, during his uh, troubled times, and also in addition to Wyas Karim, there are other colleagues who stood by Wyas Karim, and in that regard, Dr. Getambo, I think she wasn't able to come today, but we are grateful for the help that they accorded Dr. Terry. There are also other colleagues of his, uh, Dr. Gekandi, Dr. Kaguta, and Dr. Mwanzo. Uh, for the colleagues or friends who are going back to Mombasa, uh, if you meet them, uh, just pand pass to them our great regards. We are also are uh, indebted um, to Peter Gaduri, who is here with us today, because once uncle departed, um, he was able to mobilize his close friends so that uh, they can be able to ferry the body to Pandya Hospital and single-handedly, in addition with Ian and uh, Mahmoud Abbas, they were able to have uh, the body preserved in a good condition and were able to have the body ferried uh, in the middle of the night to JKIA. And we are also grateful uh, to the Lee Funeral Home, led by Kamau, who have been in touch with, and Abigail and the rest of the crew, um, for having accepted to go and uh, transport the body from JKIA uh, to Lee Funeral, and also for preserving the body in a, uh, a good condition for those number of days that he was in the Lee Funeral Home. Um, we are also grateful to those people who have been able to send condolences from far and wide, especially in diaspora, and were able to hold a memorial service, I think in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, we are very indebted to them. Uh, we also uh, deeply appreciate those people who gave condolences, and in addition to condolences, some of them were able to give support to the burial committee in kind and in uh, kind words and also in terms of their donations. We are very grateful uh, for that support. Um, there are some people who have been coming every day, the caterers. Uh, we also deeply appreciate their service. And for those people who, some of them gave the tents and the seats, Kevin Mohi and Mary Gashuno, uh, we are very grateful that you are able to do that without asking for a penny. Um, I'm also, on behalf of the committee, I need to appreciate everybody who is with us here today. Um, I think it is during the holiday festivities, and some of you were able to break your vacation to come and attend the burial. We are very grateful. And also, uh, for the St. John's Ambulance, I think you've seen they have been able to make sure that uh, we are compliant with the Ministry of Health regulations as far as COVID-19 protocols are concerned. We are grateful to them. Um, we also need to extend our deep, deep gratitude to those people who have been tasked to prepare uh, the resting place for Dactari. They've done a great job, and we are grateful to them. Last but not least, uh, I want to appreciate the family members. I think you've come out uh, in solidarity so that you have a very warm send-off to Daktari. And we take consolation in the fact that death is just a mere translation, uh, transition to a state of tranquility. Uh, so uh, rest in peace, Daktari. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, I will also be, want to thank uh, the committee members who 
participated and they came on time and you uh, gave their useful ideas that have co culminated in this wonderful uh, funeral. Uh, now, there are times when we really need to seek, uh, make apologies, because having done all that we could humanly have done, perhaps there is something here or there that has not gone well. Now, on behalf of the committee, I tend our apologies, but we promise you will not improve because we are not going to have a funeral anytime soon. So, here, here in Amuna, here. Uh, you want to tell me something? After this, now we are handing over. Yes, Manu, thank you very much. Uh, but I ask members of the family, they have been tasked with our responsibility of taking our dear brother to his final resting place, of course subject to, to protocols which the clergy will advise us. Could you kindly come please sanitize this? Who is doing it? Utawe kwa ardhini Kama mbegu ya mwili utakao Tunakuomba sasa e buwana Uyo ndugu yetu Mwana wa mungu alishi hapa duniani Moses Katika uzima wa milele na utawala wako Hapati furaha isio na mwisho na kukaa mbinguni na watakatifu wako wote daima na milele kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu amen utakaswe mwili wako Moses kwa maji haya uliyobatizwa yakatumika kwa ajili ya kukondolea dhambi ya asili yaunganishwe mwili wako hekalu la roho mtakatifu na hekalu la utukufu wa mbinguni kwake Mungu wetu milele yote. Utakaso mwili wako kwa maji haya baraka kwa jina la Baba. Mwana wa Mungu na na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakuja mbele zako tena tukisema ni asanti kwa sababu ya siku hii ambao umetuandalia. Yakuwa siku kuu baba tunapomwaga daktari adhuri ya leo. Tunashukuru kwa yale ama kwa zile siku ambazo ulitupatia tukiwa na daktari. Tunasema ni asanti kwa kazi kubwa baba aliyotimiza tunasema ni asante asante kwa familia yake baba tunaomba ya kwamba roho mtakatifu atazidi kuwaongoza na atazidi kuwapatia amani na zaidi hata siku kama hii baba awafute machozi ambao 
wako nayo ya kimwili baba tunasema ni asanti kwa sababu umekuwa pamoja nasi ulianza pamoja na sisi na baba mpaka siku wakati huu uko pamoja na sisi na hata hiyo kikao kingine ambacho tutakuwa tukienda baba tunaamini ya kwamba utakuwa pamoja nasi na mapenzi yako yataendelea kutimika kama vile ungetaka yatimike nimeomba hao nikiamini katika jina lako na mwanao na roho mtakatifu amina We want to thank you almighty God for the way you have been with us from the time we began Jehovah Heavenly Father we have seen you thank you for the smooth learning of the service now Lord because you have taken away Dr. Zuo you have promised that Lord you are the one who will be coming to the end of the family and so Lord we pray that you may continue uniting the family that you may continue giving them peace that you may continue comforting them even at this time Heavenly Father even as we come towards the end of this service we pray that God your give journey masses to those who have been going back to Mombasa especially the priests and all the other family members Lord we pray that you give them safe journeys and when they arrive safely we shall remember to honor you and to glorify thy holy name for we ask this in Jesus name Amen Sasa tumpeleke daktari Moses Nduguyetu Makaburini Tunaamini kuwa siku moja tutakutana naye katika uzima mpya wenye utukufu wa Mungu tunakimbilia Ulinzi wako mzazi mtakatifu wa Mungu usitunyime tukiomba katika shida zetu utuopoe siku zote kila tungi hapa tari e bikira mtukufu mwenye baraka amen tutaimba wimbo namba page 11 tukiwa tunaenda kaburini family members karibuni tumchukue baba yetu kaburini
Mungu ulibariki kaburi hili Mtumishi wako Moses Arazikwa kaburini e Mungu kama Yesu alivyozikwa kaburini Umweke na malaika wako mtakatifu alilinde kaburi hili Na Moses ambaye mwili wake utazikwa humu Roho yake ifurahi kwako mbinguni pamoja na watakatifu wako bila mwisho. Tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Maji. wapendwa tumuombe sasa Mungu wetu kwa unyenyekevu mwingi Mungu wetu wa rehema kwa ajili ya ndugu huyu aliyefariki he Bwana umsamehe Moses dhambi zake alizoziishi kwa ubinadamu wake tunakuomba e Bwana tunakuomba uzisikie uzipokee kazi zake nchema Alizoziishi, alizozifanya alipokuwa hai kwa mamlaka na uwezo wako e Mungu ziweze kuwa chanzo cha baraka na wokovu wake. Tunakuomba e Bwana. Tunakuomba utusikie. E Mungu. Machozi ya manao yalifutwa na waliona huruma katika mateso yake. Uwabariki, uwape faraja. Wote wanaozunika na kifo cha ndugu yetu huyo. He Bwana uwatulize. He Bwana uwape amani. Uwape nguvu ya kusali na saburi na wema wako hapa duniani. Ili waunganishwe na kutumikia utumishi wako kama watu wema wanao mamini Kristo. He Bwana tunakuomba. Tunakuomba utusikie. Tusali kibia sala ya kumwaga Moses. Mungu mwenyezi. Kwa imani tunasaliki kifo na ufufuko wa mwanao. 
Jamii hii iliyokutanyika hapa mchana wa leo e Mungu wetu wanakuomba kwa huruma na imani kuu umjalie Moses marehemu huyu afufuke katika furaha yako na utukufu wako tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu kwa ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo baba wa milele tunakutolea mwili na damu roho na maana mpenzi sana Bwana na mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo kwa kuzihurumia dhambi zetu na zile za dunia nzima. Mungu mtakatifu, mtakatifu mwenye enzi. Mtakatifu siweza kufa. Utuhurumie sisi na dunia nzima. Mungu mtakatifu, mtakatifu mwenye enzi. Mtakatifu siweza kufa. Utuhurumie sisi na dunia nzima. Mungu mtakatifu, mtakatifu mwenye enzi. Mtakatifu siweza kufa utuhurumie sisi na dunia nzima. Mwenyezi Mungu amependa kumuita kwake huyu ndugu yetu. Toka uzima huu tumeuweka mwili wake udongoni urudia ulikotoka. Kristo amefufuka wa kwanza kutoka wafu. Tunamkabidhi huyu ndugu yetu Moses kwa Bwana. Bwana mpokee katika amani yake. Bwana pokeo yalichokiishi na mwili wa hapa duniani aweze kufufuka na mwili wa ufufuko katika uzima wa milele. Tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu. Moses. Katika maji ulibatizwa. Mungu akamilishe ndani yako Moses alichoanzisha katika ubatizo wako Mwili wako ulikuwa hekalu la Mungu Tunaomba akupe furaha ya milele Atukuze Mungu Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Ndiyo ni mwanzo wa ufalme wa Mungu Moses wewe ni uvumbi Utarudi kuwa uvumbi Lakini Bwana atakufufua siku ya mwisho kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana ala roho mtakatifu amen e mungu siku zako hazina mwisho na rehema zako hazina idadi utukumbushe daima kwamba maisha ya hapa duniani ni mafupi na kwamba hatujui tutakufa lini roho wako mtakatifu atuongoze katika utakatifu na haki Siku zote za maisha yetu tufike salama katika ufalme wako kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu. 
Raha ya milele umpe e bwana mwanga wa milele umwangazie apumzike kwa amani Amina. Raha ya milele umpe Moses e bwana mwanga wa milele umwangazie apumzike kwa amani Amina. Roza umini marehemu wote wapate rehema kwa Mungu wapumzike kwa amani Mwenyezi Mungu bariki msalaba huu ishara ya wokovu uliounganisha Mungu wa Kristu na maisha yetu kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu Amina Moses Uandiko ishara ya Bwana katika kaburi lako Mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristu aliyekukomboa kwa ishara hii kwa nguvu ya ubatizo na imaisha ya imani akupumzishe kwa amani yake yenye utukufu sio na mwisho kwa jina la Baba la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu Amina Bwana awe nanyi Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Nendeni kwa amani Sasa utafuata utaratibu wa udongo na taratibu nyingine katika kuuzika huu mwili Atukuze baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu. Asanteni wote. Awatakia kila laheri mwaka mpya wenye baraka na mafanikio. Na mwaka wenye mafanikio kila mtu ajitunze kama maumbile yanavyotunzwa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Let each one of us nurture and care self the way the very world we are living in the very environment we are in cares for the rest of nature wish you well happy new year god bless each of one of us santeni karibuni mombasa mc tafadhali sasa ni wakati wa kutupa udongo na harakati hii tutaongozwa na familia ya marehemu wapi pita duo bas pita duo wapi saidia haya njeri joki Jerry na Njoki Mahmud na Sony Joni Aya Basi na Ian watoto wa marehemu mnajijua wale ambao walifika na mam apate Mama Elizabeta ndiye utaanza mkalibisheni taratibu haya akisha kutupa watoto wa marehemu mtatupa udongo haya the name of the father son and the holy spirit rusha udongo thank you haya watoto pita duo saida wengine wote Ian haya sorry haya Asanteni. Shukran. Watakaofuatia sasa ni ndugu zake, mwenda zake, marehemu, Njooni na dada zake. Njooni, hao ni familia ya daktari, ndugu zake, dada zake, his siblings. 
haya dada zetu shikeni mje karibu haya mtupe haraka haraka kabisa jinsi hiyo asanteni asanteni haya apatie haya shikeni murushe haya wale wote walio haya wote ambao wana wamekuja kumuaga anko jooni kina kaduri walokuja kumuaga wamuitao anko jooni wote wake za ndugu zake pia wakiongozwa na Mrs. Mbugwa haya tumzikeni bwana sifiwe the extended family members ambao na uhusiano wa namna hiyo ili ingine jooni extended family feel welcome haya nizamu yenu nizamu yenu extended family the duos all the duos karibuni na muri yenge balea vita duo twalekia andu wa nyumba ya balea igi na andu wa itura na arata lakini sasa nizamu yetu marafiki pia jooni jooni haya mshikilie asante <coughs> san john asanteni pita gachanja asanteni haya madiko toikie teri haya basi nafikiri hatu ambayo tunafika asante pita asante pita sasa ndugu zetu ambao wametusaidia katika kazi hii tukisha fulisho mchanga watatusaidia vijana hodari hawa watatusaidia dada zetu chukueni haya tupeni mchanga kisha tuwape nafasi hasa vijana wetu hodari vijana wetu hodari watu jazie mchanga naam natoa shukurani pia kwa serikali yetu ambayo iko hapa umetusaidia kudumisha amani na pia natoa shukurani wale watenda mawi ambao leo hawakubeba simu ya mtu na washukuru pia kwa heshima hiyo ambao hawakuiba gari ya mtu towashukuru kwa heshima hiyo muendelee hivyo hivyo tukae kwa amani bwana asifiwe manane bwana asifiwe haya haya sasa tuendelea na shughuli hiyo ambaye ana kiu sasa naweza kata kiu pale nje tuna maji tuna maji taweza kupawa maji kama una kiu haya kama umepoteza simu yako ni yako brother yedi akili yako ile yako hiyo Ah, wewe na ndugu yeye kama ulikamu hizi kakau. No idero. Ne kule furuli mwega ma na tugete kia twaona amungai atola gakuo atudode kagira mushi Igoro kwa Jesu netoga shemania okuo Igoro kwa Jesu netoga shemania okuo 
Nitoka ina nyivo jega Hili asya ando ali atheru Ona moma roho maitu Matika igweru olinge Igoro kwa jesu Nitu gashe mani ya okuo Igoro kwa jesu Nitu gashe mani ya okuo Nitoka ina nyibo jega Ili asya ando wali atheru Ona moma roho maitu Matika igweru olingi Igoro kwa jesu Nituga shemani ya okuo Igoro kwa jesu Nituga shemani Nituga thage ithe vitu Tumusho kagerie muhera Todu ni wedo wake mwene Utumaga tuke nagio Igoro kwa jesu Nituga shemani ya okuo Igoro kwa jesu Nituga shemani ya okuo Nero endoro nero, 
Ronanda, so kerai. Nama Nero, 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 Nero. Kaya to pira na geto iga goko de. Nero, Nero, Nero. Soga korote ubete guwo tero neto gase mania. Papa wito neto gase mania. Kuma tine neto gase mania. Oi de wito neto gase mania. Toki nyei goro neto gase mania.
ya gosho tuwashukuru vijana majamaa hodari asanteni kwa kazi nzuri hiyo umefanya hiyo ni huduma ambayo ni ya ajabu sasa tuelekea kuwekelea maua na wale wahusika watoto wa mwenda zake ndugu yetu ningewaombeni mje hapa karibu ili mkaweza kutekeleza jambo hilo watoto kina dhuo Saida na wengine wote tafadhali mje tukaweza kuweka maua. Nao maua yaletwe karibu karibu. Leteni maua tuelekea sasa kuwekelea maua. So please we are now going to lay the wreath and I would like to ask the children Saida I can see you thank you very much. Mahamud na wengine Karibuni dhuo karibuni mje tukaweza kumtunuku babetu shada la maua Karibu tu Gari Gari KCU 068 KCU 068T tafadhali kwa heshima au tuondolee gari lako limefunga jia na kuna ambao wanataka kuondoka kwa hivyo kama gari ni lako enenda pale hivi karibuni sipo ndoa litagongwa na tutaki fujo kwa hivyo enenda ukaondoe gari lako kusudi lisigongwe Haya sasa Monio Manu Hoya isi mwalimu Kama mwalimu ayuko adwa mwaki mweha Ndogde Haya kwanza tuwataka kuweka msalaba Ya tiku wakudhi yaga Ya gizu kia protoko Tunamsubiri padre aje aweke msalaba hapo atakuwa ametupa ruksa kuweka maua wale ambao watahusika katika mambo haya ya kuweka maua tafadhali na waombeni muwe karibu maua nayo najua yako tayari pale kwa hivyo tutafanya chap chap tutafanya haraka haraka tunamsubiri pandre akija atufanzie jambo hilo sasa mengine atafuata chap chap nawashukuru waumini wenzangu kwa subra yenu na wa shukuru sana St John Abira Ananio team pokeni shukrani zetu kwa kasi kazi nzuri ambayo umeifanya umekuwa hapa siku nyingine leo umefika we don't take it for granted we don't see it as anything else but a very important service to mankind hasa wakati huu kwa hivyo tuamsubiri padre eh, mama Elizabeth mwekee kiti kwenye kivuri ata 
wetelea maua shade la maua ha, hapa ni ha, hata hapa ni sawa eh, hapo hapo aki face upande ule itakuwa sawa haya punde tu padre akisha tukaa ah ndamu dharafa akisha kupanda msalaba hiyo ndio lugha ya hapa Aya wanakamati twa tutafunganya fung, kwa hivyo msiondoke tutakutana pale mwisho wanakamati sasa uh, naelezwa ya kwamba padre alishakuwa ameuombea msalaba kwa hivyo watu wa mwaki people of fire eh watu wa jumuiya tafadhali mtatuongoza katika zoezi hili mkifuata kanuni na dasturi za kikatoliki sasa huu ni mwaki hii ni jumuiya haya Kerekai itu ada. Oh, sorry, sorry. Saya juga nafasi haya jo mama oh eh ya kanisa haya ini haya haya sasa ya kanisa haya lete hii ya, ya, ya mama ndio hii oka eh haya Haya mama Elisabetha yo yo mkabidhi mkabidhi huwa haya haya mpiga picha muinasa hiyo mshai nasa basi wakeni wakeni chini taratibu taratibu Mama yetu Elizabeth asante sana asante haya haya Mungu akubariki asante sana haya Wageni wetu ambao mli umekuja kutoka Mombasa pia tutataka kukutana nyinyi kule nyuma katika ile tent ya mwisho pale wanamo wanapwani wote mliofika wanapwani kuna jambo tutataka kuzungumza nanyi kule nyuma ya nyumba kwenye tent. Haya, sasa tuwataka ua leni ya unyaka nila. Eh? Church. Haya. Weka hiyo sawa sawa hii ni ya kanisa duo. Oka. Haya. Nani anaweka ya kanisa? Haya, ya duo. Eh? Wale ya duo. Le ya duo. Haya twabe tunele dhuri yake. Eh ndaka nimeguka ile ile yabuo enenda pale na sisters mnaweka moja sio wote. Eh njoni kina Saida. Karibu Saida. Haya. Saida. Okay. Haya. Haya Saida na dhuo pita dhuo. Haya asante ni sana. Thank you thank you Peter and Saida thank you very much haya eh, nani mwingine haya tunalo uwa la kanisa kama hakuna mtu wa kanisa ya katoliki mimi nitajitolea wako wapi mkatoliki yeyote hapa ni yupi mkatoliki eh haya kama hakuna mkatoliki ah ndio basi chukueni hii Wajaveni. Haya. Kutoka nyali. Haya basi, karibuni. Haya. Haya, shikeni vizuri. 
the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, thank you so much. Mbarikiwe. Thank you. Thank you. Picha umeishika vizuri. Sawa. Umewanasa. Thank you. Haya. Which, sasa, nafikiri za muhini ta waombeni kila mtu achukue a, eh? extended family jooni haya extended family jooni eh, wajino koigi nani jooni mtu akachukua akachukua moja moja hata daktari gashono daktari gashono wakili vu jooni tafadhali brothers na sisters wa marehemu jooni nizamu yenu uh, extended uh, family immediate family after jooni haya 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 jooni mpange line hapa haya dada zetu wote haya kila mtu apate lake haya 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 bas bas haya extended family alafu nitafungua jukua litakuwa la si zote na sisters wa marehemu jooni Joni nyote eh ukai muhade hiyo leo Joni tafadhali chukueni haya observe social distance even as we are doing this uh, Mrs Mbugwa na wenzako Joni tafadhali haya Joni pale mtapigwa picha Joni haya eh haya Haya. Haya haya. Haya. Eh? Enelia. Eh? Haya, familia, shikeni hili lingine. Hili lingine, haya hili hili. Wewe uka baba. Moere lili. Eh, moere. Mane gene maigirire. Wambugu. Haya. Wadaura. Ereri ihoa. Lea family. Heri ge. Heri inene. Eyo ya hii. Oka na leona haha. Oka mweno wadaura. E moleo ere haha. Die mweno olea. E. Sister Rachel kaini hapo. Familia. Zii kubwa li naletua hili uwa. Haya. 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 Adawi hau lega. Hapo, haya, karibia ni pale, hilo ni la familia pia, bi ni ya radhea, haya, yuka ni kisi ugufawa, hayo na wande hili ya, eni, haya, haya, saidia ni buwana wambugu, pamoja, haya, haya, thank you, thank you, ah, hallelujah, e, buwana sifuwe sana, amen, amen, haya, abaya meshika uwa aje, upande ule sasa the other side tuta plant the other side eh let's distribute them evenly eh eh haya haya yes hmm? okay ini eh haya bravo eh thank you thank you dogo eh Thank you, Banene. Thank you. Eh, thank you. Eh, desa to ali kia. Mahu amali oho, mama tiku shoka. Oya ima mo beri. Boi mama tega. Mada gita ali. Mati guti godo ine. Oya iwa ali mo ali mo ali mo. Atuta hacha mahua hapa. Shukweni tu yawekele pale. Eh. Nishahada yake. Wacha tuweke pale pale. Asanteni kwa amani. Asanteni kwa utulivu. Asanteni. Tuasema asanti buwana. Siva zote zimwende mwenye zimgu. Ambaya metimiza maombietu tulipoomba. Tuanze kwa usalama. Tu malize kwa usalama tuasema asanti sifa na utukufu ni zake Mwenyezi Mungu tuasema asanti
we give all the glory to Jesus until of his love, until of his love. We give all the glory to Jesus until of his wonderful love. Nabwana apewe utukufu Tanga za upendo Tanga za upendo Nabwana apewe utukufu Tanga za upendo wake Thank you Jesus Thank you, thank you Lord Thank you, thank you, thank you Wewe mugevie toku gadayo agai oromoi korokira dayo wa Kristo oromoi korokira gai na dayo na mugie na gomuno Kristo ara tuira gai na dayo na mugie na gomuno dayo wa Kristo oromoi korokira Ya ina dayo na uge na gomuno Kristo ara muira ya ina dayo na muge na gomuno Eh de kule kuna kinywa ka, ka chai sio kinywaji <laughs> kuna kuna kikombe ya chai kanywaji hakuna kwa hivyo tafadhali mnaombwa kwa kwa, kwa unyenyekevu msikaondoke bila kupata kikombe ya chai ambaye kiu kina kuumiza ni wakati mzuri upate maji lakini nafahamishwa waliokuja wabolezaji kutoka pwani haswa Mombasa msiondoke kule nyuma kwenye tent pale kuna kajambo ambako mwataka kuelezwa Tafadhali shukurani shukurani you be living at your own pleasure but we thank god we thank god uh, we thank god we thank god for you and jane uh, masses to all of you as you go back to your respective places may the hand of the lord be upon you barabarani na kokote ambako mtapita muende na amani ya yesu awabariki Hawa kinge na yote mabaya mfikapo mfike salama thank you to god be the glory My sister, iko kikombe ya chai tafadhali mnaombwa kwa heshima msiache chai. Ka chai tu. Ka chai tu. Eh, opo hoya. Hoya ka chai. Kwa yesu kwa hivyo asante sana na tutulie kidogo sisi wote tukunje kikombe cha chai tukunje pamoja ili tuabiane kwa heri
kwa sababu ya kuwa pamoja tulikunya shai tuseme asante na Mungu ampariki kila mtu. Asante sana. Chai ambayo tuaipokea Bwana ukaibariki na tukiondoka uende pamoja nasi na mikono iliyotengeza hiyo chai Mungu Baba uibariki. Zaidi tuwakushukuru kwa chakula cha kiroho ambacho umetulisha siku ya leo. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit we pray. Amen. Terminate now.